Psalm nominated himself for Top Left. But welcome, everybody. This is the nomination stream for Top Left. You know, sometimes, sometimes, you just need to celebrate the people that bring joy and entertainment to our lives. The, the, the ones that are so ridiculously wrong, so incorrect, so just brain dead. But they do it in funny and entertaining ways. That's right. That's top left. The people that are on the top left of the Dunning Kruger chart, that is the flat earthers typically, but it, it could be any, any of them. I have with me Craig FTFE who, uh, who sorry, we're my... not going any further until you say my name, right? Craig. There we go. Not too hard. Is it? I, I, <laughs> it's not going to stick, but, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, we are celebrating Top Left, uh, the kickoff of the of 2023 Top Left Championship. Um, tonight is the nominations. We've invited several people on. You in the audience can also uh, join, and I'll send out a link later. We'll cover how to do that. Um, I sent a bunch of people in, uh, invitations, and so many of them uh, weren't able to, and so we'll get some nominations uh, read out in absentia. Um, and so tonight is the nomination stream. Um, somewhere around March 1st, we're, we're between now and March 1st, we'll get the voting videos together. And then on uh, people will vote on them. And then on the most ideal day, on April Fool's Day, we will announce the winners. The top winners. the winner. The winner. top <laughs> the top leftiest of all of the top leftians. Um <clears throat> So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I have the the page and so we're gonna track the uh, the people on here. So let me. Well, I see Gary bot back in the chat. Oh, bless him! I know people keep asking me, um, can can you fix the Gary bot? Because I programmed it, but um, there's a reason it's like that. I'm not very good at programming. No kidding. Yeah. Um. So no, I can't fix it. That's why it's the way it is because I suck at making AI. So, all right. So, um, the winner will receive a a a unique T-shirt, a the top left T-shirt. I'll get the artwork up later. Um, and uh, that that person, oh, there it is. Yep. the The winner gets it now. Last year's winner chose not to receive. I don't know why. I mean, it's it's a prestigious award, but chose not to receive. That would be Mitchell from Australia. And what happened yeah. after he won? Well, we didn't even get to present him with his with his prize because we were promptly removed from the stream before we got to the top five. He he invited it was strange. us. You have to be an invited there to present him with the award. Um, we weren't allowed to do it. It was it was very strange. Uh, mm. But you, ha I have noticed that um, you know since Mitchell from Australia won top left of two thousand and twenty two, he's not been seen. It's, it's mm, very, very similar to what happened with Sleeping Warrior with, uh, you know, the DFOTY after he, he won, he just vanished. What about Southern um, Israelite? He went away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, he's been poking me the past few days. That's been funny. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so wow. maybe, maybe the winner of Top Left this year will also bugger off. <laughs> Um, all right, I'll bring up here um, the um, pager. I put I put the the link to the page in uh, in the chat there, and uh, you can go look at the page there. And as we get the nominations in, we will uh, definitely show them. All right, so let me get this uh, get this up here. 
Hopefully the hamsters that power my internet will um, keep working while we're streaming. I heard you had some hamster problems yesterday. Well, yeah, the, the problem is, um, uh, you, you know, we've got the hamsters that power our internet and if you, you've got to feed them and, and fuel them. And normally iron brew is, is the fuel of choice, but I accidentally gave them buck fast. I have no uh, idea what that is. All right. Yeah. Um, it, imagine red wine mixed with vinegar. Uh, it's yeah. Sounds uh. all right. Here is <clears throat> here is uh, everybody can see the top left 2023. Uh, even has a link to the paper unskilled and unaware of it. And that that is exactly top left there. There's their confidence peaking over on the top left of that scale. How it works tonight is a nomination stream. Some people have thought they need to make a video to nominate. You don't. You can, uh, but it's too late because <laughs> it's now. Yeah. Um, but a few people have sent me. You got five minutes. So, yeah, I said the top, the final winner. Uh, let's see, the, the uh, top, only the top five. Now, it could be more than five, but let me read this here. Just so you know, nominations are during the live stream tonight. YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, MySpace, GeoCities, or Twitch content creators are invited. So if you make content on any of those or elsewhere... How um, many is the maximum amount of nominations? Uh, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, so I, the, the, the TikTokers, I sent messages to all the TikTokers there. Um, so people may cast, and this is different. They cast only one nomination each. Last you had people nominating multiple times. You cannot, uh, please be aware that cheating and bribery is allowed and encouraged. The Mandatory, in fact. The officiants will turn a blind eye to anything they feel they want to ignore. Officiants, that's myself and Craig, also, Sorry, res also reserve the right to change rules, invert, invent rules, break rules, ignore rules, or do whatever they want as it suits them. This is a joke. Take it seriously at your own peril. You do not need to be present, present during the stream tonight. If you cannot be present, please forward your nomination to me. With a maximum two sentence nomination speech, these will be read out during the nomination live stream. All people nominating, this is important. If you nominate somebody, you fully commit yourself to assisting in creating the voting video. If no voting video is created, the nominee will be removed from consideration and the contestants with fewer votes will be promoted. Ha <laughs> ha. I said only five nominees will progress to be contestants, but remember. Officiants also reserve the right to change rules, invent rules, break rules, ignore rules, or do whatever they want as it suits them. If your favorite nominee does not get included, bribery is an option. Uh, voting will be PayPal. during the... me forward slash FTFE. <laughs> voting will be during the month of March on videos hosted both my, my channel and, M and FTFE's channel. And I'm going to put mine on TikTok as well. <coughs> Uh, the final winner will be announced April 1st, April Fool's Day. Very fitting. The proud winner will be sent a free t-shirt with commemorative top left artwork, and which is right here. This will be on the shirt. They're going to love it. It's going to be fantastic. Um, all right. So I'll read the rest of that as you want. Uh, I sent out an invitation to Bob, the science guy. So, all right. Not Bob the Builder. Can we not get him is um there... i don't know if mr science guy is much for building all right oh yeah i got one for <clears throat> or planar walk is coming in planar walk up right i'm, I'm sorry i'm up, up see you soon as... <laughs> <laughs> we're not um, allowed to be in the same room together it's a nasa order all right we've got uh we've got an uh johnny o sent this one of the Johnny O, one of my favorite one, people. One of the absent nominations here says, I nominate MC Tune for subjecting us to these morons on a bi weekly basis. FTFE gets a sub nomination. And uh, um, you being one of the officiants, what do you say to that? Uh, unfortunately, people from Scotland whose first names start with a C and weird looking guys with glasses aren't eligible to be nominated. So too bad yeah. too bad for you <laughs> <coughs> all right industrial nerd oh <laughs> is a member from einstein from the last stream and glenn riley is a member at newton last stream gary wenbanga 
says, I nominate my dim twin brother, Gary Wybenga. AI can't be nominated. That is, hey, that's a, hey, that's a perfectly valid nomination. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, Classed as artificial intelligence, but I feel like that's the wrong word. Um, artificial, not very intelligent. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So let's get here. I'm going to um, I'm going to keep track as we go here. So what about our nominations, too? Because oh, you know, they're should, the important we ones, totally right? Totally cover that. Yes. Totally cover that. Uh, you wait. You go ahead. Well, for me, th this year there there is only one. Um, the the master of word salad, the uh, the most top left I have encountered, so top left that I actually had to stop being top left in that subject myself to know what the fuck he was talking about. Um, Witsit, Austin Witsit, is the man that thinks that he can, and he said this in, in a, uh, just as the stream finished the other day. He was like, "Ha, the Globers, they're gonna be so." gutted when i release my video that completely debunks relativity that sentence alone is enough for my nomination to be validated that austin witsit should be top left 2023 he knows nothing about anything that he ever says he is the personification of toons flurf rule number one which is uh all flurf citations contradict the flurf 100 percent every single citation he has ever made if you read the next paragraph debunks him <laughs> sometimes the yeah. next word oh all right so people i there's a bunch of people that are like i nominate this person all right if you if you want to come on stream after a while we'll open it up to general everybody to come in if if you don't um you can send me an email a dm on discord or a DM on Facebook. Those are the three places I'll check for your nominations, okay? So anybody, it's open to anybody to nominate, just so you can be clear. You don't have to come on screen. And did did I see uh, Dr. Bob here for a second? Yeah, he did, okay. I, I saw him. Yep, all right, my nomination. I But uh, Craig, I, Craig, I have to say that Craig. is, uh, Austin is a worthy contender. He was 100%. my choice last year, in fact. Um, yeah, but and I have right to, to, to choose him. I, I've had to, um, modify my choice this year <coughs> and, and there's a lot that went into this and, and I, 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 I labored over this. Um, <coughs> who can, who can just wish into existence new physics? Well, I can't, you can't. I could try. Physicists work. can't, but this person can wish into existence new laws of physics. This person is an expert in their own mind in every subject, but never actually has any citations. This person never, never studied any science at all. In fact, studied art. And because of this person's study in art, can debunk all the scientists on the globe by just wishing it to be so. So my nomination for Top Left 2023 is Flatzoid. Dun, dun, dun. Mr. Who Saturday? Mr. 11 frames per second. Uh, 11 <laughs> frames deleted. No, 11 frames per second. I like that. <laughs> uh, that is, yep. Yeah, and no, Flatzoid's a very good choice because um, Flatzoid understands very, very little about anything. Uh, and in fact, Flatsoid is almost the opposite of Witsit with, with the citations, because the last time I debated Flatsoid, I went along with a bunch of citations. He agreed with me that the citations said what they said, but at the end of it was like, I don't care. They don't mean anything because I'm still right. Right. Yep. OK, so we'll just ignore the things that say you aren't and just go with you are. Um, he currently runs the best mass on, on YouTube uh, every day, nearly. The best mass. Yeah. Where they, they come along and, and you know, preach to the, the flat earth gods. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Flat Soid is a very worthy contender, but yes. I don't think he's on the wits at level this year. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm adding you. Uh, we have here in studio. Planner Walk. Dun, 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 dun. Ahoy, ahoy. But Bob the Science Guy was here first, so I think we should uh, maybe 
give him a chance here. Um, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> yeah, screw might... Planet Walk, right? Yeah. Well, I'm just welcoming you. Just, just acknowledge that you're here. There's Bob. There's Bob. Hello, uh, hello, swing Bob. Swing miss for Planet Walk. How are you, <laughs> guys? How are y'all? Great, good, Bob. Glad to see you. Worthy, worthy, worthy top left candidates. Um, Platzoid has always been a favorite of mine, and lately I've been kind of going round and round with Blitzit. Just because it's it's interesting to talk to a semi intelligent flat earther, even if he has no idea what he's talking about. You're so generous. Yeah, at least the grammar is there. Uh, but my nomination is going to be two honorable mentions because I can't reach the level of flatsoid or or wits it. Uh, I'm going to nominate the Bryants. The so Bryants. I'm going to go with Bryant's logic and Brian Leakey. Uh, Brian actually tried to debunk me the other day, and I think I'm going to be in therapy the rest of my life after watching his video. But, um, I mean, just the dirt that came out. I mean, my dirt meter pegged, and it was just awful. Yeah. But these are guys that absolutely think they know everything there is to know, and I really debate whether or not they can tie their shoes. No, they use yeah. Velcro, and they still struggle with that, is what I've heard. Well, they need to start using staples. Um, not because they work in <laughs> Staples? A little bit better. Roofing so, staples, preferably, so that it gets into the bone and stays. Um, but that's that's my little addition to this. Um, I'm going Brian's to, logic uh, is a brilliant uh, one. Uh, well, I'm, going when to, he... I'm going to defer to my Southern Hemisphere friend now, uh, who, who I just made feel bad, so now I'm going to... <laughs> give an introduction as one of my favorite uh, flat, earth, uh, flat earth debunkers and YouTube personalities, the ever talented Mr. Planner Walk. Wait, are we talking about the same Planner Walk? Yes, the same one. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <are>. <laughs> you now, know I love you. Going... Craig, look at, my, look, at my, look at my picture, Craig. That's Pennywise, the dancing scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Don't screw with All right. Well, welcome, Planner Walk. It's uh, to you. How, how's it going, Toon, Craig, and Bob? Splendid. Doing good, uh, my friend. Just Peachy, now that you are here. Oh, that's, all, that's always good. I actually am going to need to get Toon to do a poll in the chat, oh, because okay. I have... I have two possible nominations, but I don't want to commit to two um, nominations, right? So, the first one is someone who might actually, uh, later this year, be gone uh, because of prison. It's someone who is already gone because of YouTube taking him down, and that is Dr. Kent Hovind. Well, Dr. Kent Hovind. Uh, and the second person is someone that everyone loves, and that is Nigel Cheesy Hands. So, <laughs> oh, I've got a video on him. I'm working on. He's a he's a special one. I love his his oops. <clears throat> I love Same. that. All right, so I, I the poll is live. People can vote. For you to tell you who you should back. Yeah, so it's between Mr. Oops and Mr. I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> All right. I'm not prepared um, for that. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, you right. stupid. <laughs> I have a, a couple, couple that I've received. I'll, I'll read off here. Um, now that well, I thought I thought maybe we could. Um, uh, th there's actually someone who's messaged me just now, and they've given a special. Uh, they were like, "Could I?" They've sent me a voice clip, so I'm just going to play the voice clips because okay. they, they've got a nomination. Yeah. Hi, my name is Nathan Oakley, and I have been lying to people about the Earth being flat for a lot of years. I did this to hide the fact I have a small penis. <laughs> ah, well, that wasn't really a nomination as such. Well, it, it yeah, very good one. Thank you, thank you to whoever that might have been. Um, <laughs> all right. I've got from Professor Phil Bell says, forget Kepler, Newton, Maxwell, or Einstein. 
as it will be nothing short of sacrilege and an abomination not to nominate the man who routinely surpasses the greatest minds that have ever walked on this planet as he giggles and smirks new physics into existence on the fly. There simply is no better contender for Top Left 2023 than my nomination of the one and only the supremely special Flatsoid from Flatsoid's perspective. Yes! We got two. He's in the running. So Professor Phil Bell nominates Flatsoid. So how many nominations do we need? Uh, it's just, it's going to be the top. So uh, the top, maybe about five. Last year we had like 31. It was just too many. So we're going to have to. Uh, I mean, how many nominations do they need to be involved? Or do we just choose the ones we want anyway? Who, whoever gets the most. The top. Or whoever we decide. Like I said, because yeah, it doesn't matter if do Wits sits there moment. anyway, because, you know, I've already decided he's won. No, flat sight. It's flat sight. Fight me. Okay. Um, Planet Walk said he'd get... stand in for me. <laughs> do we have to get Brenda to um, decide on this from HR? <clears throat> Brenda from HR? Oh. Oh, well, Brenda is on no. maternity leave and they've actually got Keith standing in. Keith's normally the guy who refills the photocopier fluid. Um, that's why photocopier four has never been working. He uh, drinks so it all. We all I, know. Yeah, that. I know. But I've tried tried to stop him. He actually distills who it and then mixes it with orange juice. Well, he's the CEO's um, son's friend's cousin or something. Um, we had to. There, there was an issue with some powder being found that was linked back to NASA. Uh, but anyway, we we had to hire him. Um, it, it was awful. All right, uh, I got a couple more here. So we got w Gary Wenbenga already nominated. He's in there. Valkyrie Visions is my two favorite Globersons. Globers on from Valkyrie Vision. That must be Planar Walk and Dr. Bob. Yeah, definitely. Um, Industrial Nerd says hashtag CC4TL. CC is a good is a good one. Um, I will. I, all right, I'll take that. And I know, I know that's his favorite. We've I spoken. think we should ask his wife if he should be nominated. I have a feeling she say yeah. yes. We could ask Nathan Oakley's wife, but it's a bit of a sore subject right now. Uh, all right. Um, well, uh, actually, there there's someone else who would like to say something. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Hey, guys, you want to hear a funny story while we're all chatting? Dude, uh, I'm dating a first grader. Again, that's not a nomination. That's very, very naughty. Um, no. String News yeah, 1 exactly. says... You tell him, Dell. Yes, Dell's the best. String News 1 says, gives, Top Left gives a new meaning to March Madness. That's a sports ball reference, MC Toon. Oh. Sports ball. I don't do sports ball. I don't do sports ball, but the ultimate Frisbee sign-up is happening right now. So there you go. I'm a dumb flat earther, and I don't understand yeah, um, science. Yeah, you won dumb fuck of the year recently. Yeah, you're, you're probably out. not involved, Gosh. Riley. It's... Uh, <laughs> all right, Tim Tully says, and says, here's a bribe. It's a top left bribe. I don't know who it's for. Well, Tim Tully, I will definitely apply that bribe appropriately. <laughs> Remember, paypal.me forward slash FTFE. Um, so far, the poll is running within the margin of error. So if you if you haven't yet voted on the poll, you're going to have to oh. jump in there. Oh, well, what if it's 50-50 and you've still got to make a decision plan? <laughs> you got to flip a coin or something. That, yeah, it's a very difficult decision because here's the thing. Kent Hovind recently said some, like, he broke me. Uh, like this was this was Nigel Cheesy Hands level derp that we're talking about. Are you doing a video on it? Or did you do a video? I, I, on it? I did do a video on okay. it. Okay. It was it was a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, Planet Walk's been killing it lately. The algorithm is very much his friend. Occasionally. Uh like my last video didn't do too well, but that's probably because I was wasn't covering such a uh Applicable subjects, let's say. Uh, dude, my my video from yesterday. <laughs> I caught a flurf red-handed, faking the the flatness of the horizon. Oh yeah, the uh, hashtag got a light flurf. That one, uh, I believe, had a clip of Nigel Cheesy Hands in it, right? Of course Going it did. Boots. I always include him if I can. 
<laughs> um, all right. Ta uh, let's see. Let's see. Tim Davidson says, could have just said weird guys in glasses. That covers you both. I mean, I think I'm stupid. Well, we, we agree, Santos. Um, but you haven't really been doing much this year, so I, I don't know if you oh, can be involved. He's, he's got some videos out. He does have a few. I'm masturbating. Okay. Shh, Santos, shh. This um, morning, I went to the toilet. Oh, okay, we, we, we get it. When I was a young boy, I grew up on the farm. I'm a, a country boy. And um, I used to fuck the cows that, that, um, and the pigs. I used to fuck the pigs and the cows would come and I would pat them and, and look into their eyes. I'm always going to be impressed that he fucked the pigs and the cows came. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, all right. I'll... <laughs> every time. I, I laugh at that every time. I played it for my kid the other day. You know, it's not every day you can look into a hairy snout and find love. <laughs> I do it every time I watch one of your videos, Bob. Well, thank you. I've been shaking my nose lately just for you, Greg. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Oh, uh, Valkyrie Vision. All right. Come on, come on. By the way, in the immortal words of Jack Sparrow, at least you've watched my videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure that's how it went, but I get the sentiment. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Valkyrie Vision says, from Westchester County, New York, but I can't do the video because I'm blind. Sorry. CC from Westchester County, New York, but I can't. Oh, I typed it twice. All right. Valkyrie Vision, I will give you, I will add you to the nomination for CC. Thank you for that. Uh, that super chat and the nomination. There you go. Can we get a show of hands in the chat for um, nominations for Witsit, please? Just type F. No, actually, if you want to nominate Witsit, just type Gamma in the chat. There you Let's go. get as gamma. many Gammas as we can. Uh, all right. Kenny Eaton for $1.99 says Flatzoid. Yes. All right. I'll take that as a nomination. Oh, and uh, by the yeah, way, so. Um, well, oh, oh, look at the chat. I think Wits is definitely being nominated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and to be clear, I have his address. His P.O. box. Yeah, he's definitely getting the... the, so the, the, the... I, I don't need... Right, I don't have Flatzoids. But I, I mean, already have Witsits. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of Gamma. Witsit must be really annoyed. The last time someone had that much Gamma, they became the Hulk. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Other people might be a little bit. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. David Lee says, I agree with Craig. Witsit is a moron, but has convinced himself he's brilliant. All right. Yeah. I'll take that as an nomination. And he convinces other people he's brilliant. Because Bob said something I actually disagree with, that Austin is intelligent. Now, I originally had that opinion the first few times I talked to him. But the more you talk to him, the more you realize how top left he is about everything he says. He, it sounds like he understands the things that he's talking about because he can scoop the important words and put them together in sentences and almost link together concepts, but it's never right. And the conclusions are always 180 to what it actually is. Yeah. Witsit is not intelligent. He is the epiphany of looking intelligent with, you know, the lights are on, but no one's actually home. Does that not require intelligence itself? Well, it, in the same way that a parrot that says a bunch of words is intelligent, right? Well, they're a lot smarter than a robin. True. But right. you also well, wouldn't want going. a parrot, you know, doing anything important, would you? Well... You know, Craig, the thing that you you also you seem to have overlooked in what I said, he is a flat earther, so it's a relative intelligence. Yeah, of course, intelligent is, for flat earthers. I see. He is uh, a yes. relatively bright flat earther. Is the way that I would yeah. describe him. It's the right. theory of relativity for flurfs. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yep. It's the Bob theory of relativity. When you're when you're with stupid people, if you have you have three more brain cells than the average stupid person in that group, you're a genius. Yeah. Okay. I I, I, I take your point, Bob. You're absolutely right. His biggest problem is is that he doesn't know what he he doesn't know, and he 
can't connect dots. He can't make reasonable connections that toddlers can make. He also can't you know, admit that he's wrong. No, he can't. He can't. But that's typical. I mean, that, that's a condition of all flat earthers, the double down yeah. syndrome. Yeah. All One right. of the things that uh, I could be doing in half an uh, well, I could have been doing in half an hour um, was debating Austin Witzer, but I decided that this was going to be far more entertaining instead. And better for your brain cells, oh, yeah. general mental health. Um, Witzer also has this thing of talking right into the mic like this really slowly for a long, 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 long time. But then the second you try to speak, you're interrupting me. <sighs> yeah, it reminds me of a it reminds me of a debate that I saw on Modern Day Debates where uh, there was this guy called Haas, I think, who was basically shouting into the microphone with it with the game turned right up, and James was trying to mute him, but Haas kept on unmuting himself. And, like, even during uh, James saying about how, oh, it's uh, this was a charity thing, Haas interrupted James to, uh, like, call Destiny beta male Bono or something. Oh, my gosh. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. It- Although there, there were some funny names thrown at Haas, like um, uh, the Leningrad Leprechaun. What? Fucking it. <laughs> or the Moscow oh. Majit. <laughs> Moscow. <laughs> All right, we gotta oh. keep we gotta keep moving here. Um Hey, um you, uh, thinking about things, Toon, uh, I don't think you should nominate Flatsoid because you, you said he, he's got like an art degree. I don't know if degree is the right word. Or he studied art. Do you remember the last time the, the world said no to somebody that studied art? But there was a big, big war because of it. Um, uh, I don't know. Was it? Was he? Was he uh, Austrian? That would be Hitler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe people that do art, we shouldn't ever say no to them. It's just a theory I, I've got. To uh, be fair, do you think that Flatswood has the ability to get? Hold on, I am. Hold on, one second. I've got a call. Interrupted himself. All right, let me read this. And um. Lord Illuminous Pooh says, I was not prepared to bribe you for Der Kent No Brain. <laughs> uh, I take it. I'll take that as a nomination for Kent. Kent Hovind. Um, which, which, uh, let's see. Ooh, he is winning by, by just 1% on the poll for. Um, That's very close. I mean, they're obviously very. Both very derpy. I uh, vote if for cheesy hands. Yeah. Oh god, hands. I'm big on the screen. Uh. Oh yeah. There's just there's just two four of people. Us. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, so Kent Hovind goes to Lord Luminous Pooh. Um. Oh, jeez. Uh, all right, we've got, then we've got, let's see, Baux10 underscore, or O underscore lowercase O <laughs> says, Mikey Smith for the win. By the way, this popped my SC cherry. Hello. Cherry. Come say hello. Oh, hello. It's, it's an Emma. Oh. I found the, I found an Emma. I know her. Yeah, we know. Emma. Emma. Hi, Emma. She is. Emma, who's what? the dumbest Don't person know? of the year? You could have said me. It would have been a good chance to rip your husband. Oh, yeah, upstairs neighbor. But yeah. <laughs> Love you, I was thank waiting you. for a CC on that one. <laughs> Are you arguing with flat earthers again, Craig? <laughs> me? Argue with flat earthers? Never. <laughs> um. All right, so Baux, Baux 1 says uh, Mikey Smith. Oh, my gosh. I keep trying to, I keep messaging Mikey Smith. People, help me out. Go to Mikey Smith's videos and be his buddy, right? Be on his side. And then talk smack about me. 
so that he builds up a little confidence and wants to talk to me again. He won't respond to my emails. He doesn't respond to my messages on Facebook. I'm not blocked on his channel as far as I can tell. Um, <clears throat> so help me out. Go to his channel right now and say, you are way too smart to not debate MC Tune. Try that. I don't know. Yeah, no, he, he blocked me. Yeah, I remember. He's uh, arguing about the Canadian government at the moment. Oh, Mikey. Mikey is so... <clears throat> he measured the temperature of the moon with... <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's genius. How? How can... Oh, my gosh. Magic. Just the, the amount... I never would have thought of doing that. What a great way to do it. I, I never would have thought of that experiment. Maybe you'll see it again. Next time, oh, if I want to measure the sun, I'm just going to hold my hand up and go, yeah, that's it warm. Feels warm. Yeah. Yeah, he he he's not, he, he constantly talks about me, but he'll never talk to me. So, all right. Ah! Um, oh, it's just Planet Walk. All right, sorry. The Psalm Express. <laughs> he just debated Psalm. Wow says uh rainbows are conspiracy by the they to make the gods must be crazy look like a documentary i i genuinely hope that som is actually some genius actor playing a character oh my i i mean i i i genuinely have that hope in, 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 so in my heart so because much. he can't be <laughs> When I debated wow. him last and he showed a picture of a mountain and then a picture of a lake and then put them together upside down in this like ball and I said you can't have a ball with mountains and lakes with that picture of like one mountain and, and, and I as I broke I, I mean I couldn't oh. I couldn't breathe he that was it hey Dave McKeegan's in the chat hey Dave how you doing love your videos oh, Dave Oh, wow. Worry if Flatzoid writes a book called Mind Flat. Why don't you see if Dave wants to come on? Because he... Uh, oh, he, absolutely. He, he's been Dave, having some interesting epic. conversations. You can, you can come on in my place. I got an interview to do here pretty quick, but that was an epic quote, man. <laughs> oh, I love that in the chat. Um, how long after me and Emma did you realize that getting her drunk and pregnant was your best shot? Well, that, that was it. As soon as I saw her, I was like, yep, yeah, I have to do everything I can to lock her down. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're way outside of your league there, Craig, just so you know. Yeah. I don't, I, but to be honest, at, we were married for nearly 16 years, and I genuinely would be dead if I didn't have her as my wife. And that's not even a joke. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got a lot of nominations. We cannot, we cannot dally here too much. Um, Skidmark McGee has been a member for seven months. Says Witsit doesn't get it, definitely should win. I'll take that as a nomination for Witsit. Then we got... Well, there was about 400 in the chat just now. Oh. Hey, you super chat, DM on Facebook or, or uh, Discord or email. I can't watch this. There's too many. I can't watch the stream. Um, all right, what was that for? That was for Witsit. Oh my goodness. And here, here's the, for, for reference. Um, if, uh, if there's 10 votes for each nomination more over two. So right now, Austin already has 10 extra votes, but so does. So, yeah, he's so they're technically tied at the moment. Um, uh, David Lee said, no, it's New York. Uh, Westchester County. Redacted says, I'd like to nominate Trey Hutchinson. Oh, Trey has, Trey is aggressive. Uh, apparently he's on um, a vacation, so he can't be here. Uh, a vacation, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hutchinson uh, Mr. is a Mr. Mike so says, this is my vote to make this the Planner Walk show. That's just the internet at the moment. <laughs> Well, to be fair, we've got uh, Planet Walk 2 has returned. And there's your OnlyFans, right? 
That's not up yet. Well, what have I been watching? <laughs> that's um, that's. <laughs> I I'm not sure how you found my uh, <laughs> my private shows. <clears throat> that's fan fiction, only fans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I sent I sent to Dave McKeegan. I sent the 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 Zoom link. Um, I have a feeling I know who his nomination will be. Uh, yeah. Me too. Uh, Hi, sorry, Sid Almonds. And I have been lying to people about the earth being flat for a lot of years. I did this to hide the fact I have a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> like how he's laughing at the end. I, I, I know. I, I just got to say that, you know, ethically, that is AI. That's not him saying that, right? I generated that using the AI that I trained. And it's fucking amazing. I, I, I've i made it do both your voices and there's some funny things I'm going to be making you say in my videos. It's it's insane how good it gets it. All right. Sid Almond says TL23 is great and all, but the Santos drops <laughs> always get me. Give us some Santos. Pigs look gorgeous and, and cows are beautiful. I love the look of cows. they I mean, I think I'm stupid. Santos's astrology and syncretism is from the devil. <laughs> you flat earthers are demented. <laughs> I love how he misspeaks too. <laughs> uh, Sarah Jones says, CC, do it for him and his poor wife. All right, Sarah Jones gets added to the list for CC. Why don't we ask ChatGPT what it thinks the top left person should be? Yeah. I think if we fed it some options and explain the rules, it would probably make a choice. It could, yeah, yeah. Uh, Judy Bassett says Witsit has illusions of fluency. Awesome, I love that. Um, oh, but... Bomb MK says Archimedes revisited. Did more math on one slide than all other flurfs combined. Too bad it was completely math. wrong. Too bad it was completely oh, wrong. All right, uh, it's not as bad as Brian Logic's math um the um blue marble science covered where he was trying to show how celestial navigation is basically on a flat plane so he had the angle and then he took away uh the, the zenith from it and then another number and then got the flat base and then added back those numbers that he just took away to prove that it's flat and, I, and i'm like that's that's not how math works dude it's just, no just random dude whatever you <laughs> want to do you get to do that's what he thinks Uh, all right, M. Schendler forty nine says flat, so I can't even fail correctly. F. Z. Top left forever. All right, M. Schendler gets the nomination for wit uh, for flat soid. <clears throat> um. All right, I'm gonna have to send out a few more here in a little bit. A few more invitations. Dave McKeegan, where are you at, man? I, I do want to say something though about okay. uh, asking Chat GPT. Um, you do realize that it's supposed to be artificial intelligence, right? You you remember what happened last time it had to interact with a flat earther? Do you? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, Skynet, right? Well, no, uh, I, I'm talking about in real life, uh, like. Oh, actual... the, well, what, you mean when the Chat GPT beat a flat earther in debate? Yeah, that was quite funny. Well, not only that, I noticed that for a few days afterwards, it wasn't working properly. <laughs> I actually, I uh, well, I, I know few, it was for a few days. I was getting it to write jokes about flat earthers, and then it was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I feel like I'm making fun of them because <laughs> I often, uh, I often use it uh, to try and work out. Oh. Um, how can I do this particular thing? Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, it worked for a bit. And then all of a sudden, Na I noticed Nathan Oakley posted a video about it and it wasn't working after that. Yeah. He yeah. broke it. All right. I got a DM from on uh, Discord from Polly that says, don't leave out J Jin CBR1. Jin, so I wanted like I went on my end. weekly debate on the Flurf Discord server. He came in the other week. He was like, "I want to debate you," and then he's ignored me ever since then. 
He's a bit random, isn't he? Yeah. He's like a um, a Democ without the swearing. Yes. That's what he is, yeah. Democ is actually... He might be a good choice for uh, for, for top left. Well, so there are some people that have nominated him. Do so your we'll... backyard science! Where's your backyard science? <laughs> We'll we'll get we'll get to them. Um, I'm going through my Discord uh, nominations here. Charlie Welch says, "I hereby also nominate Flatzoid. It's very simple, guys. He and his clergy have really blown away the competition this year." There we are. Charlie Welch comes in with the Flatzoid. Yeah, I'm debating Flatsoid again on Saturday, um, and I asked him to get his chat to choose the subject, so I don't even know what it is yet. You probably don't need to know until it's time. No, I, I stopped preparing for Flat Earth Debates a while ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do if, if it's if it's like, if I feel like sometimes I want to make, you know, bring up a new topic or something that I haven't covered before. So anyway, thank you for that uh, nomination, Charlie Welch. Um, or and uh, Judy, you got this, said that, that uh, um, Flat Earth is Nonsense has one on TikTok. So I'll... I'll look at the video on TikTok. Maybe we'll play that. Go ahead, uh, Planer Walk. You were saying something. Yeah, I was going to say about that one time that you did prepare for a debate. Uh, I think it was... It didn't really turn in... It wasn't really a debate because you just showed the person to be a liar by looking oh, at... That one, the Australian... Uh, oh, what's his... I forgot his name. I can't that, remember his name either. He said he was on he was on the very southern edge of the the bay outside of Melbourne, but he was yeah. actually just a couple miles down the road on a yeah. pier. And I found, and yeah, and then um, we figured out the pier he was actually on, and a guy was there. Uh, what's the guy's name that was on the pier live? <laughs> it was great. And then did he say he was going to sue you? No, he got he he. He got upset. He tried Danny to... Danny Seppings, that's the guy, yeah. Danny Seppings, yeah. Danny Seppings. All right, let's see. Joe Whip has a has a message here. Let's see. Oh, Joe Whip says there is only one... There's one and only one choice for top left. Bev, try thinking. He almost made me lose Level. my desire to live. Level. Now, remember... Level... If if you nominate level, you are on the hook to participate in making the video. If, if no video is made, no video is made. So, Joe Whip, and so if if you if if you nominate and there's not somebody that like has some video creating uh, um, skills, then you might have trouble, right? But I think the um, the Australian crew. Has kind of some um, some likings for Bev, so uh, we might get from Where's Wally and uh, Hugh Jars and others. All right, uh, go ahead. Well, it's been about half an hour since the poll was uh, put oh, out, yeah. and it oh. looks lo oh. looks like Kent Hovind is is winning so well i guess uh unless mc tune or ftfe wants to override the nomination i guess my nomination is dr kent hoven it's or not uh, dr. Dr. Kent. i think you should do cheesy hands <laughs> but all right it's up to tune no I, the the it's up to the the people the people have mm -hmm. spoken Dave, right. hello. Hello. <laughs> it's a pleasure to talk to you. I've been very much enjoying your videos. Oh, thank you. Uh, sorry it took a bit long to uh, to get in. I was, was actually, I wasn't at my computer. I was just getting ready for bed. And I thought I'd send the chat and then Mike sent me the invite. So <laughs> how, how could I, how could I, how could I refuse? <laughs> yeah. So um, we're doing the top left nominations, um, which is, you know, the most people that think they know what they're talking about, but clearly don't. Who would you say out of the flat earthers you've interacted with is the most top left? Um, I would actually, and I know everyone's going to expect me to say Nathan Oakley, 
but I'm actually going to give it to Flatsoid as well, I think. Yes! Oh. <laughs> yes! I kind of guessed that. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> well, you had the insight. You, you've already had the sneak peek because we had a conversation about him the other day. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, I, I, sorry, I was going to do a video about him in the same way that I did with Oakley, but I just can't find a way to address the video that he did about me without taking the piss out of him. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> just do it. Take, take the piss. Yeah. He'll, or if, you, if you're if you not comfortable putting it on your channel, you're welcome to do a collab with me because I very much enjoy taking the piss and we can just put it on my channel. I, really? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but, so it's definitely a good choice, right, Toon? A flatzoid is fantastic. A worthy contender. Yes, it, it, I, I particularly liked it when he tried to liken the moon to both a golf ball and a cheese pizza within five minutes of each other. Oh, so it's flat and spherical. Excellent. Yes, yes. Right. It's both Brilliant. at the same time, apparently. Oh, how? How? None of this makes sense. <laughs> uh, Dave, your, your video went out. We just see... Uh... I mean, it's oh. up, if, it's up, oh, whatever you I, want, but uh, I mean, we we. Uh, I might I might have knocked the cable out and gone. There it is. Yeah, it says image editing webcam. We can tell you're on a Sony because I get this. I have the same thing. So, yeah. Dave, have you ever thought about debating a flat earther? <sighs> I've 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 contemplated it at times, and then I've watched your live streams and thought I couldn't cope with that shit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do apologize because it seems that one of my streams was what brought you into doing the Flat Earth video. So I am sorry about that. Yes, you, you're <laughs> responsible for all of this. <laughs> um, I mean, you're an expert in, in photography um, and a lot of their arguments are, are around photography and what the eyes see. So I would love to have an expert in photography try and debunk some of their nonsense around that because I'm not an expert in photography. I don't understand really how cameras work in any depth. So if ever you feel like using your knowledge, join me in Discord one day. Uh, I could try and help, although if I could get a word in edgeways on that place. <laughs> Dave, uh, Dave the, uh, the video I did yesterday on my Conspiracy Tunes channel was about photography. I did. I, I saw that. That was, uh, that was something special, that was. <laughs> <laughs> He's a professional photographer. Doesn't understand exposure. Yes, but Gary Fong claims to be a professional photographer as well. <laughs> a lot but, of flat earthers claim to be photography experts and, and videography experts and photo analysis experts. Top left. Uh, yeah, I, th I think they get confused between between knowing what a photo is and knowing how photographs actually work. Yeah. yeah well, some of them are not even that level. Some of them get confused between the difference between an image and a picture. Yeah. Not that that's and, really a thing. And and they think that nitpicking that is actually a yeah. thing. Mm. Have you seen that, Dave? Like they'll they'll say, "Well, NASA uh, officially an image isn't a photograph." So if they say it's an image, then they're admitting, like, no, it's just it's not technical language. But NASA said all their pictures are photoshopped. No, they fucking didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Does it Can depress you, Dave? Back? We're we're in twenty twenty three, and there's yeah. people that think the Earth is flat. <laughs> Scientists in the sixties, we've you know cr cracked the, the the atom. We're you know developing amazing computing technology. We're cloning sheep. Scientists now, for fuck's sake, you morons! The Earth is round. Round like, I, I, a, I, like a pizza. Round like a coin. Round like a <laughs> clock. Uh, <laughs> I like trying to imagine their version of how history must have panned out for all of their beliefs to actually be true. <laughs> well, for their beliefs, oh, the yeah. whole of history of just they, everyone's always known it's flat Earth and always taught it's flat Earth and everything. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: according to a flat Earther that I spoke to in 500 BC, the Roman Catholic Church uh, burnt everyone who didn't believe uh, that the Earth was uh, <laughs> spherical. Sorry, yeah. they burnt everyone, as in yeah. they set everyone alive that thought the earth was flat. Was and they set them on fire. Yeah, flat, yeah. 
Yeah. In 500 BC? Yeah, in 500 BC, the Roman Catholic Church did that, apparently. To everyone in the world. Oh, little bastards. I don't know how they did that before they existed, but that's some <laughs> hard work in there. <laughs> um, all right, Mr. Mestizo says, this is my vote to make this the Planner Walk show. All right, well, bye, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, we're over well, to you, Planner Walk. I'm taking yeah. over. <laughs> All right. Um, see you later. It doesn't work that way. Sorry. Um, the Psalm Express says when you psalm two numbers, it is a formula. Oh my gosh. Oh. Psalm is just something um, incredible. He, he thought, he's like, you can't use formulas. And then he's using a formula. I'm like, you can't use that. He goes, no oh. formula. It's a sequence. <laughs> a sequence. <laughs> Four <laughs> minutes I lasted. Four minutes I lasted watching that stream tonight. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes so I feel funny. like that, Dave, and I'm in the streams. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. I mean, last <laughs> night, it, there was so much dumb that my internet died. <laughs> it, it, it broke my internet. It it I get genuinely impressed with you. To be fair, FTFE when when I, I watch your I watch your streams and within a couple of minutes I I am banging my head against the table <laughs> and I just I I have to walk away from it and then I look back the next day and your streams three hours long. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, my therapist hates it. <laughs> I, I mean, I, you... I'd have thought you I'd have thought your uh, your heart problem would have been a bit of a wake up call, but no 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 three nights later you're back in the same thing again. Dave, one of the very first debates I had, someone with a serious faters and then put in the sky to mock us for worshipping the sun, and then called me the idiot for not thinking that would and that that was four years ago, and I've still carried on. So that that tells you something about my state of mind. Yeah, uh, Sam. <laughs> Sam is in the chat. Uh, he said they burnt everyone, and where do we come from? Because everybody believes what uh, they were burning for. Well, those, done, some of those were words. Those were definitely words, bud. And well for done. reference, Sam actually got in. He was the first one to nominate somebody, and he nominated himself. An excellent speech he gave. <laughs> Cretan Ball says, finding the dumbest flat earther is like trying to find the wettest water. Just kidding. That the wettest water is in Lake Titicaca. <laughs> uh, I do have to ask, whatever happened to flat earth Aussie Jesus? Oh, he goes by the name Iron Horse now um, and hangs around modern day debates. Ah. Yeah. wonder if he's oh. ever going to uh, join Whitsit in debating. He has. He yeah, has. No, they, they've been together. In fact, they were both uh, with me in the Discord server a few weeks ago. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What was I know, that I'm, like? I'm genuinely impressed that when I go to that Discord server, that black holes aren't formed with the amount of density. It, it's it's insane. I mean, have you ever considered that maybe relative density has a point? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, all right. Who ring test two says Bev should not be overlooked. Indeed, he should not. I'll add, I'll add that to the nomination. Um, oh, Bev. The, the guy, the flat earther that's, that, that's ashamed to call himself a flat earther. As he should. Yeah, no. Uh, there's should. a lot of them that do that though. I'm not a flat earther. I just don't think the Earth's a globe. So what is oh. it? Well, well, it's a, it's it's flat, isn't it? But I'm not a flat earther. You know what they are? We we know that they all hug their Gleason's map pillow to to sleep every night. But that their official title for those people are ignorant earthers. Ignorant earthers. They're ignorant and they want to tell everybody about it. Oh my goodness. Uh, Citizen Nine says flatsoid, flatsoid, fat, flatsoid for the win. Does this count? Yes, it does. Mm. Citizen Nine gets gets to nominate. Nomination being counted at the moment. I think it's uh, a, a tight race at the moment between Witset and uh, and flatsoid. Absolutely. So, um, somebody has we mentioned should. What about flat out truth? 
Terry R. Eicher, and I, he's he is a worthy contender. Yeah, but um, then his YouTube channel got deleted. <laughs> and his Facebook. He yeah. Keeps... Oh, and his Instagram. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> so um... he keeps creating new Facebook accounts. Like I saw somebody in a group somewhere talking about it, and I searched. I'm like, oh, there it is. And I went to his Facebook account, and then I like reloaded it, and I'm like, oh, did he block me? Nope. It was no. gone. Like 30 yeah. minutes after he created it, it was gone. So he won't like, be able to make a new one now unless he's got a different ISP and a brand new phone number and everything. Yeah. Well, however, Facebook tracks people. They are tracking Terry and they know who he is and they say, nope, you're done. No. Oh. Um, all right. Just a messenger says, I would like to nominate McFlatty. If he, isn't el if he isn't eligible, FTFE would be my next choice. Just kidding. Woo! I will cast my vote for, for whoever Toon is nominating. Ah, ha, ha. Another for Flatzoid. I, I do need someone in the chat to, or someone to super chat to nominate um, Kent Hovind because he still only has one nomination, right? He has two. Oh, he's, he has two. Okay. Uh, yeah, Planner Walk and Lord Illuminous Poo. Okay. Maybe I yeah. missed that. Yeah, so load up the uh, load up the page there. Um, it's, oh, it's pinned at the top. Yeah. I'll, I'll reload the page. I like this. Uh, Atlas 6355 uh, says, Big thanks to Gleam. Witsit wouldn't have been nominated if it wasn't <laughs> for him passing on the derp. Yeah, Absolutely. Gleam, the definitely not flat earther, but makes all the flat earth arguments just because. He. <laughs> um, all right, I, I got to send an Maybe... invite to Bryant Myers, by the way. Go ahead. Yeah, let's get DFE in. Maybe we should just encourage. Oh, I like what you're doing, uh, FTFE. You're encouraging Gleam to take up the uh, music career rather than. Yeah, because his music's actually all right. I just feel like if a lot of these flat earthers ignored the flat earth stuff and concentrated on something else, it'd be great. Yeah. I um, mean, a lot how of many tell of them, me... I mean, they could really excel at their jobs as the taste tester down at the urinal cake factory if they just put their heart into it. A lot of people tell me that, oh, the flat earthers should just be working at McDonald's and Burger King. I'm like, no, I don't want to make my food. No, oh, I don't know. Nope. They're not qualified for that. Yeah, they're, they're going to give you a... a you know, a cup of lemonade, that's not lemonade. Plus, he'd have to flatten all the burgers down as well because he couldn't serve anything brown. No, of course not, <laughs> no. In fact, they're, they're more likely to work at, like, Domino's or something, right? They feel at home, safe. Well, Henrik Danielson <laughs> says, I nominate FDFE's nurse. Oh, God. What's that? Um, Did I miss that? That was the last time I spoke with Brother Sanchez. Um, the the end they got, he got people to call in, uh, and they were arguing about astronauts in space and how the the blood shouldn't work because oh, water yeah. acts weird in space. And I had to explain to this nurse how the digestive system and the cardiovascular system are different things. Um, and she laughed at me and said, "I'm a nurse," and I'm like, "You fucking shouldn't be." <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. How it's amazing how you have some people that, given their profession, they s seem like they should have some kind of intelligence. Yeah. But they don't. I, I don't know too much about that though, because my um, my partner's a doctor, and she often says that a lot of the nurses she works with are thick as pig shit. <laughs> That's why they're not daughters. Oh, no, that's mean. I shouldn't say that. Nurses are generally brilliant. That's that. That's mean. Empathetic, in the, yeah. But, but yeah. when it comes to actually, like, understanding the ins and outs. Yeah, there's doctors so for a reason, you know. Yeah. But, you know, nurses are good at their job, usually. They're, they're, they're the ones you want to, like, put in the needles and everything because that's what, you know, what they're trained to do to assist what's going on. I'd rather a nurse with 30 years' experience put in an IV for me than a doctor. 
you know, but yeah. I'd rather the doctor diagnose and treat my injuries. Yeah. And if the nurse putting the IV in happens to say that your digestive system and, and your cardiovascular system are all in one, then you just head straight for the door. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll take, take my out chances. The IV and go, can I get someone else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I. That's what she said. My nomination is none other than Derek, Professor. Derek? And I had I had myself muted. So nobody at home heard me. All right, uh, I'm gonna bring up the the. Did you fart? I did not. <clears throat> All right. So there is there Funny. is TikTok. Here comes here comes the nomination from Flat Earth is nonsense. I hear nothing. My nomination is none other than Derek, Professor Dunning Derek. Even though I'm absolutely going to destroy this person's argument, he's going to maintain the stance that I'm dumb. Did you know that the only way you could have a gradient air pressure is in a container? <laughs> You have to read this story. <laughs> what is going on? I we did not. Oh my god. What does Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, and Stephen Hawking have in common? They all knew where the fuck the moon was. You see a curve in any of these pictures? See a curve in any of these pictures? You're looking at the what sky, how one? does he curve? Do you see the curve? Do you see the curve? Yes! Is there a curve? Ah, uh, there it is. There's the curve. Finally found it. You know that the globe model suggests that we are 3 million miles closer to the sun during the winter time? That's right. While the northern hemisphere is experiencing its summertime, we are 3 million miles closer to the sun. That's right. While the northern hemisphere is experiencing its summertime, we are 3 million miles closer to the sun. We'll tell you that this is possible because of the Earth's tilt. And like everything on the globe model, they do not want you to think about this. Okay, so I have an unbelievable update for you guys on the sun and the moon. Derek, that you do. Yeah. <laughs> that you do. Ready to see it? There's the sun, but when you look around, and I've driven all over town to look for the damn thing, but the moon disappeared. Hello? Sorry, he was driving the over moon? town to look for the moon. <laughs> Have you seen the moon? <laughs> But I'm just pausing. Well, for a second. It was there and then it just disappeared. So yeah, he did that in a video. There, he has two videos of that, and 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 so okay, I got that clip, and so this flat Earth is nonsense has gone and is stitching that video constantly, all, <laughs> driving around town looking for the moon, yelling at people asking him where the moon is. Have you seen the moon? Going did, on did he put up any lost posters with a picture of the moon saying, yes. "Have you seen this?" Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone into live streams of different people saying, oh, my my slow buddy Derek is looking for the moon. Can you find it? It's so I, I I actually recently saw that. So they're going to have to come to New Zealand because it was here. Oh, the moon. All right. All right no, the moon's definitely in Scotland. Like, <laughs> Wait, have we all got like different moons? How does that work? I don't know. We got a couple more. Hold on fit it to finish this video. Yes, I have. It's delightful, but have you seen the moon? Think about it. If that is not a glitch in the matrix, I don't know what is. In one hour's time, the moon completely left the sky when it was directly above me an hour ago. Got my moon right. Don't know if I do it right. Don't know what to do with life, but have you seen? You gotta uh, mute the audio. Gone. And just, nowhere to be found. I drove everywhere. What is it you want, Barry? What do you want? He you, drove you everywhere. You want the moon? It disappeared. Say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Barry. I'll take it. Then what? Well, then you could swallow it. 
And it was at this very moment, Derek got very excited. And it all dissolved, see? And the moonbeams that shoot out of your fingers and your toes and the ends of your hair. <laughs> Am I talking too much? Yes! <laughs> Alright, there you go. There is, there is Professor Derek of the Dunning-Kruger Institute for Kids That Can't Science Well and Want to Learn to Do Other <laughs> Stuff Good Too. <laughs> so De Derek oh, is, is one of the bigger and dumber TikTokers. So Yeah, I need to, to cover some more TikTok oh, first because there's some ex expert there's dumb over so, there. Oh, so dumb. All right. So Derek gets a nomination. And I think a lot of the other TikTokers are gonna probably do that. So what I'm gonna do is uh I'm gonna actually in a little bit I'm gonna get um open up the invitation to to a little broader here to some TikTokers and some other uh, um, content creators, and then open it all the way up to whoever wants to come in and just drop a nomination quick. So if somebody had asked in the chat if they can get a nomination, it'll be coming up in a little bit, so. Um, <clears throat> all right, while I add that, add some color commentary, guys. So far oh. I've covered two TikTokers, one on FTFE's channel and one on both mine and Simon Dan's channel. Because they seem to be an extra sort of breed of dumb. Yeah, Casey Industry. There's, there's uh, that guy could play the Joker. There's something scary oh, about yeah. him. No, he's too creepy for the Joker. Nope, I know, too creepy. Uh, uh, he was in Discord the other day uh, in, during one of my debates, but he wouldn't come on voice chat. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, but, um, nice. the the TikTok flirt that well, I've, I've covered Casey Industry, but I also covered um, Jenny Rose Thirteen. Um, who then disappeared from the internet after I did some videos about her. Now I feel mean. Wait, no, I don't. She was a flat earther. Yeah, and then there was um, uh, Mike. I forget his his uh, TikTok name. Somebody who he is a memorable face. A memorable face on TikTok. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure TikTok's all just AI generated that's, content. That's not helping. Well, if if you remember the uh, guy that I covered on your channel, oh the oh the one oh uh, yeah, uh, uh, what was his name? I couldn't even remember. the the one Mark. that yeah oh Planet Walk covered a TikToker on my channel recently, um, and yeah he shouldn't have put the camera towards his face. That was mean to everybody. Was it Mike yeah, I, from I, Australia or was it a different one? No, Mike from Australia, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and his koala drillion dollars that he was after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he found NASA's oh. rock and once won um, koala drillion dollars that, that NASA said that they would give him for finding their rock. There was also three suns in the sky and one exploded. <laughs> oh, Yes. <laughs> No one else four, noticed it. Wait, four wait, suns, I mean, that that but blows my mind. Yes. No one else noticed these extra suns or the supernova happening. Everyone was too busy looking for the moon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Trying to help the other guy. No one knew about the suns. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. The moon turned into some extra suns. We've yeah, solved the mystery, explodes. guys. We've solved the mystery of the extra suns and the missing moon. Boom. And that's why NASA was looking for their missing rock. Yeah, because they didn't expect it to be a sun. <laughs> yeah, and because it was the moon. Which was a sun that exploded. Or well, someone's other personal moon blew up, so it went from being a cold light to a warm light, and that was the other sun that he'd spotted. Wait, that's no moon. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's a spy satellite. Seriously, it, how it's crazy. All right, I sent out how many flat earthers have told. I sent out a few uh, more. You know how many flat earthers have told me that the Chinese spy satellite is proof that uh, spy spy balloon is proof oh that gosh. satellites don't exist. How I have seen that on Twitter. Dumb. Yeah, yeah. The. You can see the ISS cross the moon. It goes super fast. It has no balloon up in it. And it goes around the Earth in 45 minutes. This took a couple days to go across the United States. And you could yeah. see the balloon. Yeah, and uh, it's just... 
the existence of what so, i mean there's no. trains i can go on a train does that disprove the existence of cars yes to them it does <laughs> all right i mean um, if you use a horse that disproves the existence oh, of goodness. any other animal my um my ai bot in the chat's going weird gary webbenenga says it's amazing hearing ftfe call people dumb when he says you can't see your hand in front of your face again you're not seeing your hand gary you're seeing the light bouncing off of your hand, it's going through air, head. being slightly refracted and going into your way eyes, being more head. refracted and interpreted by your brain. You never see anything, Gary. You see the light that is bounced off of things. And if you think that's crazy, Gary, how about this to blow your mind? You never touch anything ever. You never touch anything. Well, what you feel is Gary electron should repulsion. never touch anything. Yeah, true. <laughs> what you feel, Gary, is electron I mean, repulsion. Not you. My fingers aren't touching. The electrons in my fingers are repulsing each other. And if Gary Windbanger thinks that's crazy, then you actually see everything upside down. Uh huh. It's your brain that corrects it. Don't Except if you live in Australia, of course, you don't need to correct it yes. because you're upside down. So it's it's all good. <laughs> Joe sure. Black, can, do the nominations have to be real people, or re can we nominate the Gary Bot? <laughs> <laughs> There's a very uh, simple experiment for Gary if he wants to know whether he can see his hand or not, which is if he goes into a cupboard with no light and then just stays in there <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah, but well, I'm an advocate for uh, NASA sending flat earthers to space, not bringing them back. No, yeah. no, just send them up. It's cheaper <laughs> <Yeah>. one way. <laughs> <laughs> when they're like, "Hey, we need to we need to test this new rocket to see if it works," and we're not gonna do a you know return to takeoff point. Yeah, they they I, could I, be I, the payload simulation, I, right? Yeah, I think some of them are intentionally doing this in the hope that that happens. I think they just want to win a free trip to space. Oh, oh yeah, that's what uh, Level Earth Observer is clearly doing. He's clearly just <clears throat> jealous of the people that get to go to space, and he wants a free trip up there. Gary still doesn't get it. Gary, you see light, not things. Yeah, as, not... <laughs> as I've said in one of my videos, do you think that if I no, just they don't. Off, uh, yeah. Like if I just turn off my lights, there's no light. Do you think that I'll see my hand? No. All right, welcome I... this. Welcome to Globe Man, <clears throat> who's one of the TikTokers. He's on there all the time. Hello, Globe Man debates them he's excellent if you guys haven't been on tiktok oh, he, he disappeared oh, he, he popped out for that if you've not been on tiktok um there's a group of of uh debunkers on tiktok that are absolutely fantastic and he's one of them um uh there's globy mcglobe face we got globe man here we've got a uh, julius dedekind you got b dazzle who makes some fun music uh flat earth is nonsense that we saw his nomination for Derek. um I don't want to. There's a lot. Uh, Baron. Baron's a surveyor. He he knows his stuff. Um, I'm gonna lift. lift sorry, if if I leave you out, I'm, I apologize. There's a lot of good TikTokers now, so very well done. I, I appreciate the the uh, their presence there, uh, and they're they're doing a great job. But they need your support. If you're not, if you are on TikTok, definitely go find them out. If you're not on TikTok. I cannot recommend going to TikTok. I just can't. But if you might, if you do find yourself there, make sure you find him. Um, well, he's Sorry, I some... had to time out Gary there for it being yeah, it's, horrible. It's okay. David Lee says, OMG, Craig, please destroy him. No mercy. I'm assuming they're talking about my flatsoid debate on Saturday. I think so, yes. Yeah. I mean, um, flatsoid, I, he might be extremely dumb. But he's one of the more bearable flat earthers to talk to. Yeah, um, when it comes to when it comes to the flat earthers, give flatsoid attention to take away from that balls in your mouth guy. <laughs> so there you go. Hi, my name's Can anyone hear me? And I have been lying. Yes, we can, can hear you now, Globe Man. Being nice. Flat for a lot of years. We I did don't this, see you. The fact I have a small penis. <laughs> yeah, I, I, what? What am I hearing? <laughs> oh Nathan <my> Oakley <laughs> admitting he's got a small penis. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to make this camera work. But, we uh, saw you for a second. Yeah, and we then could it just see stopped. you and not hear you. Now we hear you and not see you. 
you see, you, you guys I mean, JM one Truth did once <laughs> postulate that you know light and sound were the same thing, so it's possible you're being too loud, so we can't see you. I'm not sure. That, there's a good chance. There we go. There hey. we got both. Excellent. Uh oh, you've got you've got a critter in the background. Is that right? Yeah, that's a it's a weird looking cat right there. There you go. <laughs> oh, I love cats. <laughs> um well welcome hello Thanks introduce yourself because because uh the people on youtube aren't gonna know you so introduce yourself so they know oh well hello youtube people i'm globe man i uh on on tiktok i uh i'm the flurf assassin <laughs> uh I don't know. I, I don't really have much interesting to say. I don't have any degrees in anything. I learned from people like MC Tune, uh, FTFE, Planar Walk. Um, I've never met Dave, so I'm, I'm interested to meet who who that is. <laughs> that's a weird way to put it, but yeah. I'm that's fairly new to this saga, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I unfortunately introduced Dave to Stupid when he watched one of my streams, um, yeah. and he, he couldn't help but respond, and then it started a thing. So I, you know, And I will I never really forgive bad. you for it, Greg. No, I, I know. I do apologize, Dave. I sincerely apologize. <laughs> my my tombstone will just read, fucking FTFE. <laughs> <laughs> Mine to reads, fear. sorry, Dave. To be fair, I may have caused Dave permanent brain damage by causing him to run headlong into a wall. You didn't warn me the video was that stupid. <laughs> which which video I'm... is this? Oh, this Flatsoid. No, 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 no. not Flatsoid. The, the TikToker that he covered who couldn't work out the 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 Earthrise photo. <laughs> oh, no, no, that wasn't the TikToker. It was... Um... Oh, who, who's the guy uh, that Simon Dan has covered a few times that tried to measure the temperature of the sun? Mikey Smith. <laughs> yeah, Mikey uh, Smith. Uh, Mikey <laughs> Smith is just so special. Mm. All right, next All right. level special. Global. So, All right, Global. Yeah. Oh. Who are you nominating for top left? Well, it was a tough decision, but. Uh, after a lot of thought being put into it, I've decided that uh, I would like to nominate. Well, has anyone else nominated anyone? I don't want to give the same name, but I, I have already decided, and it doesn't matter if I did. But uh, just, just go for it. It, it right, doesn't cool. matter what we've said. Just go for it. All right, sounds good. I definitely would love to nominate Casey, oh. <laughs> Casey Industry. <laughs> a worthy yeah, contender. I can, I can get behind that. Um, a worthy Caleb. contender. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. His active channel on TikTok at the moment is um. It's just called Caleb Effie. His other uh, ones have been taken down. Yeah, he um, blocked me on all of them, so I can't see yeah. him anymore. <laughs> yeah, so active he's, for now. Yeah, for now. <laughs> so he's he's known as Casey Industries or um Caleb Fe. Uh, and he, me and Planner Walk and Simon Dan have all done videos on him, and he is batshit fucking crazy. But that's a nice way to say it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is that is a very nice way to say it. I mean, I am actually partly convinced that he is just AI generated. Well, but he, he, he doesn't seem like a real person. I, I just think uh, one of you guys need to do him a favor. Maybe make a tutorial on how to blink. That, that might be <laughs> helpful. <laughs> it's terrifying. He he might actually be as lizard a lizard person. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, he did he one video because it'll, blink, it'll th it'll go sideways, not vertical. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, he did one video where he was just out in the park and he just pointed the camera at the sun and he just went, "What is that? What is that?" <laughs> over and over. And I'm like, "That that that's the sun." I, I Why are you confused by this? Well, I mean, how do you how did you confirm it's the sun though? You know, <laughs> lots yeah, of that's... light and heat coming from it because <laughs> that's how skeptics actually function. I'm just being skeptical. Um, so, so how did you not choose Derek? Um, I was thinking Derek, but uh, I don't know. I felt like that might be too easy. You know, he's uh, he's still struggling to find the moon right now. I didn't want to add too many other responsibilities on his plate. Yeah, so, yeah, good. Yeah. Had to be fair to him, you know. Um, if if uh, I tried to to send the Zoom link to a bunch of different uh, people on TikTok, I probably missed a few. So if you want to send that to a couple others, I don't yeah, know. I can try. Be. Um, I did get it to Globy McGlobeface, but uh, I don't know if he's uh, kicking around at the moment. Oh, apparently Globeman recently got threatened to be unalive the other night. Who did that to you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a fun live. Um, 
He's Who changed his name by now. Some someone named Independent Researcher, just some random guy. Uh, uh, he claimed that he was in the army, which I didn't doubt. I told him like he could have been whatever, but he said he was field artillery and that he was deployed, and he never had to actually do any calculations for the curvature of the Earth. And um, well, it, basically, he ended up showing all of his info, and uh, it came out that he had never actually been deployed. He was sanitation, um, yeah. so that that was fun. Um, it, it basically was just a big long argument of him yelling at me, and then by the end of it, he said. Oh man, I'm, I'm coming to your house. I'm gonna kill you. Good luck. And then just left alive. And then I just said, "All right, sounds good." <laughs> so I'm yeah. not gonna feed into it any more than that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it gen generally shows how lovely, lovely the flat earthers are. There was a flat earther that once threatened to to you know unalive me, um, uh, and we asked him what he was talking about, and he said this: "When I was a young boy, I grew up on the farm. I'm a, a country boy, and um, I used to fuck the cows that." But, um, and the pigs. I used to fuck the pigs and the cows would come and I would pat them and, and look into their eyes. <laughs> pigs look gorgeous and, and cows are beautiful. I love the look of cows. <laughs> um, by the way, David Lee says, Craig, can you play that Nathan clip one more time? Hi, my name is Nathan Oakley and I have been lying to people about the earth being flat for a lot of years. I did this. To hide the fact I have a small penis. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of. I want a... that as my ringtone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll send you the file. That's so good. It okay, just sounds okay, exactly gonna... like him. That's so good. I, I'm gonna. That really is seen... ridiculous. <laughs> if you fear, I'm gonna send you something to play, uh, just real quick. All right, while you're doing that, um. M2M, or Matt Beeching, uh, he's, he used to be the casual spaceman, says, Flatsoid has got to be my vote for top left, please, and thank you. Flats is one of the dumbest flurfs, yet he is so confident with his dumbness, it's hilarious. So there we go, another one for Flatsoid. I, I couldn't agree more. Kind of like when Flatsoid posted that video by the uh, YouTuber David Reynolds, and he said, as we can see, it's flat. And then the comments are just filled with people like, dude, it's... The Earth is curving in this video. What are you talking about? You know, <laughs> I um, I I don't I haven't watched much Flatsoid. The only one I've watched really, I've seen bits where people have covered him before, and I sat down the other day to watch part one of his three-hour attempt to debunk my video, and uh, it was so it was so funny watching him watch a video for the first time and seeing him get confused like yeah, seeing he... him try to process what is going on like i'd shown part of it where i was talking about the race to the south pole um scott of the antarctic versus the the norwegian explorer and i and i showed the the paths that they would have to take from their relative starting positions to get to pretty much the same place on Ross Island. And the Norwegian one is like this three quarters of the way around the globe, uh, three quarters of the way around the, the edge of a flat earth. And he's like, but why would they need to go that way? Why would they need to go that far? Why didn't they just go here? Just like, yeah. Well, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Nick, Nathan Oakley um, has the problem of not listening to an entire argument before responding. He even does that when arguing with AI. The AI won't finish be responding and he will be already typing the next question. I mean, I've had plenty of uh, Nathan Oakley's fanboys show up on my page before and they're always telling me, yeah, come come debate in this Discord. And uh, I've seen the way those go. It's it's 1v like 25 and then he mutes you if you disagree with him and then yeah. just continues talking. Uh, yeah, and then... Says it, put your balls, his balls in your mouth several yeah. times. Oakley has a, a a keen sense for when a debate might break out, and he instantly jumps in and, and derails it. So he, he makes sure that no debates ever happen on the ironically named Flat Earth Debate show. Yeah, there's not been a debate on there in a long time. Ever. Ever. All right. I have a nomination from Dell, who's been on uh, um, Modern Day no. Debate a couple times. Not that Dell. <laughs> Delco, he calls himself sometimes. Anyway, he says, "Everyone, it is my esteemed pleasure to introduce you to a truly unique specimen, deserving of the highly coveted award." CC Chris Westchester County. This individual embodies 
a rare strain of self-importance inf infecting all those around him with their unwavering belief in their own grandeur. Back in two sets. Despite being constantly challenged by reality, they remain highly unaffected, displaying symptoms of a highly advanced case of delusion. Their immunity to logic and reason is truly unparalleled, and they are a carrier of a highly contagious strain of confidence, spreading their self-assuredness to all those around them. Thank you very much, Delcos. But at and least Chris you. keeps us up to date on what the time is. <laughs> <laughs> Always. That is true. All right, where is Cece? There it is. Wow, Cece, this is number five for Cece. I think he's in third place. Amazing. All right. Um. So Julian, Julian said he's out of town, and so did uh, Baron. Uh, uh, uh yeah, other, Baron is uh, in California. Guys. I'm pretty sure. Yep. So, all right, let me get a couple more here. We've got uh, Matt Puttock says, maybe a short video of each nominee's best moments. That's exactly what we do. After we, we get these together, we will create voting videos, which are meant to be some of their most impressive top leftian comments um, to sway people to vote in their favor. Um, <laughs> PJ CNET, a flurf, says there needs to be a glober in the running. I nominate Loki Fish as an officiant who is, uh, who has reserved the right to break the rules. I, I, uh, have heard that and I have summarily dismissed it. And, uh, Serena is one says I nominate Mallory for honorary top left. Boop. There we go. <coughs> so, um, did the did the drones finally take out FTFE? Um, Those hamsters have gone on strike again. Yeah, they do that. Nathan Oakley came to his house. He heard that uh, he was using the soundboard or whatever he was using. Got upset. <laughs> Oakley wouldn't come to somebody's house. Oakley never leaves the safety of his mute button. <laughs> Yeah, he can't mute you in real life, so he would just get upset and yell over you. He he was on somebody else's show, and he was rude and interrupting, and they muted him, and then he cried. That, that seems uh, about right. <laughs> um, Let's see. Your pal Al says, MC2 Live, I nominate Terry R. Eicher. Come on. You know he deserves it. Yes. All right. I'll put you down, your pal Al. That wasn't a mess. It wasn't a DM or, or an email. Um, <clears throat> Lael, I'm behind on Super Chats. Give me a minute. <laughs> um, where'd that go? What was I What was I doing? Terry R. Eicher for you, pal. All right. Yeah, I, was, uh, I was halfway between uh, KC, though, and Gas Pressure, or maybe people on your channel would know him better as Chemo, because uh, he changed that name. Yeah, Spurs. Uh, Chemo. Yeah, he, he was another one. I uh, I was considering, but I don't know. He He's kind of <clears throat> faded into obscurity lately. He just he doesn't even debate Flat Earth with me anymore. He, um, he's been around forever. He just won't. Yeah. Dave, I mm. wanted you to meet Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> are you why are you why Craig disappeared? Were you chasing the hamsters? Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to drop out because um, there's a thing that needs dealing with. Um, so uh, I just want to say thank you for having me on, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll start working on my Austin video as soon as possible. Well, if he makes it, oh, of course he's made it. <laughs> <laughs> all right well, it, was, it was nice to finally meet you i don't think uh I've ever yeah, lovely to speech you globe course. man uh awesome to speak to you dave um yeah, you too. i'm serious about the collab though if uh you'd like to actually make fun of them you don't want to do it on your channel that's what my channel's for uh, it's i don't know whether my brain cells could cope with it is the problem <laughs> <laughs> i'll write the script for you it'll be fine <laughs> No, NASA will write the script for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. NASA will write all my scripts. Exactly. Yes. That's right. All right. I'll speak to you guys later. Thanks very much. Bye. Hey, everyone. All right. And someone asked uh, Spurs chemo. Yeah, Spurs chemo. That's the one. 
Um, all right, we've got Mike Burleson says, I have to agree with Professor Phil Bell, Flatzoid for the win. All right. And and Mike Burleson, one of the few people that have actually uh, debated Dearth. I think Dearth didn't know what he was getting into. Oh, goodness. I, I've had one conversation with him, and uh, he, he ended up going into Casey's live on TikTok right after and said he's not doing TikTok lives anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you can't mute the other people? Probably. The worst part is I didn't even have headphones or anything plugged in. And on TikTok, if they talk over you, it just cuts out your mic. Even with that, he still didn't want to talk again, even though he talked over me 90% of the time. <laughs> yeah, well, Dearth goes on to talk shows with people that have no idea of the topic. That's who he talks to. So he's able to lie to them when he says that, that QF27 doesn't exist. Right? The direct flight between yeah. Santiago and Sydney. He'll just make up crap and they don't know that there is a direct flight. So they just say, oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. I mean, he, he was showing me the uh, his little experiment with the balloons and the Van de Graaff generator. And I was like, okay, well, have you done it with a conductive material, something that won't hold the charge? And then he said, oh, I got to get my guy to do it. Who the hell is your guy? What are you talking Austin about? Austin Witsit is his guy for everything. Dearth actually said that Austin is the math guy. He's the math guy? Wow. But Austin has said on Globebusters that he cannot do math. He calls it, he calls math lost in the weeds. Uh, and he has well, claimed, right. and Austin has also claimed, I'm given stuff for, for, for Craig here, but Austin has claimed that math is strictly um, observational, right? Uh, uh, and not quantifiable. But we've got Tr Tommy Tommy Gronvald here, and it is late for you, man. Welcome. Yes, yeah, two thirty. I'm terrified. <laughs> Tommy is the only person that's ever managed to successfully debunk one of my videos. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I used uh, Orphan Red to do it. Yeah, Ooh. Orphan Red. Yeah. Um, all right. Alan Evans has sent me a DM and said, I ha um, Mike having to nominate Lindsay Harris, who in my opinion is actually undebunkable. They are words, but not as we know them. Best word salad in the world. He changed his name on his, his it's now like the tomb of derpiness or something. Um, You know what I'm talking about, Planer Walk? Is, uh... No, I don't know who you're talking about. Well, Lindsay Harris is the one that brought us Cheesy Hands. Oh, really? Yeah. He's the one that mirrored Cheesy Hands' video. So Okay. He, he's a Kiwi. He's your oh. neighbor. Knock on the wall behind you. That's probably where he lives. <laughs> Do I need to... Um... Hi. We need to yes. ask Hi. <laughs> He <laughs> used to be now. called Flat Earth Philosophy, but he changed his name to the Tomb of Something. I don't know why. Oh. Okay. Um I've I've heard of Flat Earth Philosophy. Uh could I ask my neighbor if he's Flat Earth Philosophy. Yeah, uh give it Flat a Earth shot. Philosophy's name isn't is oh, oh oh my neighbor isn't called Lindsay, so <laughs> I'm safe <laughs> for now. Uh -huh. I've 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 received a DM from Jiffy Cones who says I hereby cast my vote for Flatzoid. Yes. I don't know. Flatzoid Austin, seems to be Austin's not really uh, Austin's <laughs> not he's underperforming, I have to say. To be Sounds fair. like Flatzoid's running away with this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> To be fair, it could be a thing where you just lie about all the DMs that you get. Could be. Could be. This is the real conspiracy. This is what like I said. On. Like I said, I get to make up the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're uh, silencing the people rules, from from voting. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, Bill McGuire 
has has uh, come in with there are these these are good picks but trey is top left in every possible subject oh my that's a good one i don't know why i didn't think of that just trey again is he still doing stuff on tiktok yeah i just had a conversation with him like two days ago he was trying to tell me uh, about the black hole he believes is under the earth oh my gosh that's yeah. trey hutchinson for people and what what's he calls himself two dollar trey on tiktok right yeah yeah, uh, he, he has it with a bunch of weird characters now. I don't even think you can look him up anymore. <laughs> I've been away for too long. Oof. He's so dumb. He's the one that, that was reading a paper about Antarctica <laughs> that said that um, halite was ubiquitous and that sodium was the major cation. Oh, him, yeah. <laughs> the cation guy. I feel like, read that again. Sodium is the major cation. Read it again. Sodium is the major cation. What's a cation? What's the thing? The, the, the thing. You know, it's the major thing. Like, no, it's cat ion. No, it's not. <laughs> it he doesn't claimed, go meow. Claimed to be a mechanical engineer where you must take a year of chemistry classes at university level. He doesn't know what a cat ion is when told that it's pronounced cat ion. Turn. Does it go meow? <laughs> If it doesn't go meow, then oh it's gosh, not a cat. That's a good point, you know. MC Tune, I, I don't know. <laughs> He's got you there. <laughs> nope, no meows. And he also mispronounced an eye, and he called it an anion. Uh, and then when I pressed him on it, he said it with like, uh, he tried to add like a New Orleans accent. He's like, onion. Like, no, that's not it. <laughs> And he was, he was guess, telling me that he's a, what was it, an engineer and that he works on railroads or something while he was in his Domino's outfit one time. So that was good. <laughs> Who's that? Trey. He was in his and Domino's he... outfit telling me that he works on railroads. <laughs> See, Craig called it that they work at Domino's. <laughs> I don't want that. All right. T Tommy's here to, to announce his his support. We should. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think you see him in the chat there. Gary, of course. Mm. I'm going to be as boring as last year. Uh, last year, I knew he was going to have a few uh, votes and uh, possibly a few more now after last year. And uh, yeah, if you have the, I sent the screenshot in the chat there, uh, dude. Um, now he's going to make predictions. I waited for four years for a prediction, but. Uh, oh, that and now one. he's going. Oh, yeah. All right, you want me to show you that? All right, I'll put it up. If you can. Yeah. So I have it on white on black that he's going to make some predictions. The one thing about Flat Earthers is they never actually use Flat Earth to make predictions. You know, like yeah. the, the kinds of things that you would do in science. Um, all right, so here it is. It's up on screen. I'll read it. You asked him, does your theory of how these angles have predictable capabilities, Gary? Are you able to show how an observation will appear just with real world measurements. If not, all you have is worthless opinions. So again, any predictability here, Gary, yes or no? And Gary answers yes with an exclamation, exclamation point. point. And uh, all he does with the uh, uh, Bob and the other guys with the Coriolis and uh, everything is the master of everything. And it's the... Um, subject matter expert in angles and uh this it's, um it's so yeah dumb. he so, has no idea <laughs> and as i asked in the live chat here earlier everyone is everybody needs to show him the maths mass sorry mass of um you know perspective and all of that how railroads uh, curve up in the distance and all that he can't show anything anytime but he's an expert always he he just loves to come in here and try to tell people how it all works without actually yeah. understanding any of what he says so now just waiting four more years for a prediction all right <laughs> good luck with that uh cannibal <laughs> cannibal lector contacted me on <laughs> cannibal lector on uh facebook and says backing dare from tiktok so there we go <laughs> come on I already went over that. It's so unfair. He has enough on his plate. He's trying to figure out where the moon is. I heard next he's going to be looking for the sun at night. I read out, I had somebody on, on Chatbox Travels who 
who asked where the sun was at night as a debunk of the globe? Actually, someone genuinely asked that. <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, we've got joining us. We've got Dick Dawson, also Dick Dawson. known as hey. Canadian Thomas. And if you watched the video from yesterday, <laughs> you heard him singing "Comfortably Dumb." <laughs> I, a few years back, that one, but yeah, it one. still stands. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, hmm, are you doing a McFlatty uh, cosplay at the moment? No, eye infection, and they're staying on. Nobody wants a part of this. Trust me. <laughs> Do not play pirate with your underwear. I'm telling you, that's not an eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> I should have told her. Damn. <laughs> so, so uh, nominations then. Um, bear with me one second as I just slide over to the side and make this all sort of happen. So, um You've got to look at this from, you know, the true Dunning-Kruger, right? So, I mean, you know, you got Gary Wybinga in the chat, but his cranial capacity is so small, he wouldn't even appreciate that he won. So, you can't go with him. And, I mean, Jake would tell you himself why he deserves it. Because I'm an idiot. Happy? Right? You could go with somebody like Greg Locke because, you know, he is basically the devil, you know, or the man who said... It is the sextant versus the globe i mean come on right or this guy holding his grandfather's scowl you know they all kind of deserve it in there you've got pastor pratt himself i'm really just i had a buck stick howard clown right or uh you know vladimir pudler deserves it right now really you could go with trump i mean we've got pj Cnut in the chat shut up meg you know and everybody loves mallory oh, i didn't hear that Right. And, you know, Craig, he made a pretty good show with old Witsit there. But I'm sorry to say that MC Toon took the day with the one nomination that truly embodies Dunning Kruger. And that, my friends, is Flatzoid. My nomination for top left. He is the he 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 sweats Dunning Kruger. It, it it literally washes off him everywhere he goes. People gotta mop that stuff up. It's disgusting. But he <laughs> is the epitome of Dunning Kruger and should be your nomination as well for top left. Well done. That was fantastic. So vote flatsoid. <laughs> I've added you to the list and updated the page. There it is. I've got, in case you're missing this here, I've got a little pupper here. Puppy! Uh, you know... Is... Go ahead, go ahead. I I feel like I've worked out why uh, Riley disappeared after winning Dumb Fuck of the Year and why um, Mitchell disappeared after winning Top Left. I think it's the highlight of these people's careers. What? Where do you go once you've won Top Left or Dumb Fuck of the Year? Well, to be fair, on the Donning Kruger chart, you've peaked. <laughs> exactly. You can only go down from there. <laughs> that yeah, that that all of their hopes and dreams have been achieved. So well, good for that. Um, all right. I'm still incredibly impressed with how you presented that. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I, I, I felt underprepared. Right. I, 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 I for this. Put it together uh, this morning quick. Yeah, my son was busy, so I had a little time. <laughs> uh, nice. I feel like Flatsoid does have it in the bag this year. Yeah. Quick question here. Who, who should uh, who should we go for top left this year? Flatsoid? That's my vote. Flatsoid? She said sure. Give me some knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I'm, I'm not ashamed if Gary loses or for Flatsoid. That's pretty okay. You know, I, I would have uh, I would have picked someone else, but I had a feeling that most people wouldn't be familiar with him. He's uh, strictly on TikTok, but uh, Riz, maybe maybe you've seen him before. Rizlan, yeah, oh he uh, God, he's seen. a character to say the least. He uh, he claims himself to be a professor in everything, mm -hmm. <laughs> literally. <laughs> it's not an exaggeration. <laughs> and uh, and I he he would have been my first pick, but yeah, just I don't think anyone really knows of him. He, he's definitely one that you guys should. Uh, should keep your eye out for though. Maybe I'll tell him to make a YouTube channel. Tell him he has a lot of people oh, you know, yeah. anticipating him. 
Does he does he yeah. make content though on TikTok or is it just memes? It's he does actual content, but uh, it's just it's not very well put together. His live debates are better. He's actually a pretty good person to talk to. It's just uh, he's he's a little confused. Confused? It's no yeah. one. A little. <laughs> they all yeah. are. But you see, I gotta I gotta remain nice. You know, I can't say very confused because we all already know that's what I actually mean. <laughs> You got to hold it back a little bit. Um, all right. Papa Emeritus Infinity says, tell Globeman Derek deserves it. I support Derek for a nomination. Now, I hold on a second here. I, I'm getting these DMs from people that have strange names. <laughs> Can Cannibal Lecter, Papa Emeritus Infinity, Miasma... Can Kaiserian, David, you got and Flat Earth is not. I are, and Flat Earth is nonsense. Are these all your sock accounts on Facebook? <laughs> That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. All right. I'll, have I'll, you gotten a uh, um? <laughs> have you have you gotten a nomination from another strange name, Hugh Jars? I have not uh, gotten any. So if, if the Australians are awake now. I'll send them all Discord links. So, as uh, just so as you as we we bring in some more people, and and it's getting late in certain parts of the world, um, you guys don't have to stick around. You can if you want. Um, but uh, there we're is gonna, one... gonna open it up to some more. But yeah, go ahead, Planer Walk. <laughs> there is one person that could be nominated for top left, but I I worry that if. If he were to be nominated for top left, he would think that would be top G or something. He'd, that's what he'd translate it as. Who's that? And that's um, Andrew Taint. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we've we covered him a couple times recently, and what a horrific human piece of trash that boy is. <laughs> yeah, like... He is a source of comedy, but like, it's scary how many people listen to him, and how many people take him seriously. The only thing I have taken from Andrew Tate is asking people what color random items are that they have. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta switch it. It's not just Bugattis. It's like, well, what color is your can opener? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I've got a message from Flat Earth is Nonsense who did admit that that was a. Uh, friends and family's accounts but this is a good one i will consider it flat earth is nonsense says i think since rules can be changed my nomination for dunning derrick and globe man's nomination for caleb krueger should be a package deal they are the epitome of dunning krueger that, that's not a bad mm. idea they do uh run a podcast together where they charge people ten dollars for the truth because we all know truth seekers have to pay money to get that info. yes you have to get <laughs> uh, all i i mean seriously does derek's mom even pay is there know. anybody that pays them money i just i can't imagine w weirdly enough someone actually did recommend that i go and pay for it and i said i won't pay for it but like if you want to stream it on discord i'll gladly hop in <laughs> I'll screen record it, post it for everyone to see for free. <laughs> All right. I, you know what? I'll allow it. Daleb, Daleb, Caleb and Derek package deal. That's a, that's a hard hitter right there. That is lie. that that's, I mean, that's going to get the TikTok votes. I got some homework to do. That's going to get I, the TikTok votes, yeah. I do not envy you for having to do homework on those two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dick, I mean, you, you do a um, the shills, right? And yeah. um, if, you, if you're if you looking for stuff to cover in bite-sized chunks... We, those... We've got a smaller segment for Friday show now, Idiot of the Week, where we just center on one person that truly takes the cake. And in, I'm taking notes right now, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long show. <laughs> As someone pointed out, there needs to be a tutorial uh, for Caleb on how to blink. <laughs> I can't remember who said that. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty good recommendation. I, I think you could use it. 
Didn't you uh, just do a video with Simon and Dan about that? You did a two-parter, right? One on his and one on yours. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's uh, where you you showed like the CIA documents and all the stuff that he was talking about. Yeah, they they just yeah. they read one word and then they're fixated on it, and then the rest of the words become irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think... I sorry, I, I swear that what they did like was just like search for weather modification patterns and then hit control f to make sure it had a mention of weather modification and then just yeah. put that on the list yeah that's normally how it goes they, they won't actually read what it's about they're just going to say oh look it has this word in it it must mean what i think it means yeah that whole yeah, uh, yeah. 44 documents were from um a pastor a flat earth pastor um who gave them to nathan roberts and then Nathan Roberts made a video of them. Of, of course, Nathan Roberts doesn't have any background in this topic either. So these people that have zero background in, in, in engineering think that they understand engineering documents well enough to, to understand whether or not that actually is admitting something. It's not. Right. All right, let me, me read this. Uh, uh, Earth is life, says I vote wits it. If he doesn't win, I will demand a recount. <laughs> I think him <laughs> believing that he debunked relativity is the ultimate in Dunning Kruger. His, uh, <laughs> his vote has been added to the tally. A worthy contender. I think uh, Gary is getting desperate for attention in the chat. Here he's going personal on both me and oh, Dick and everybody. Time. So Aww, I, I think Gary. he needs some votes, but just vote for Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little snapper head needs attention. Oh. Yeah. I don't even know who Gary is. They're in the comments Crystal, now. Best you yeah. won. <laughs> oh, yeah like that gary windbanger person That's yeah he he's a like cow a farmer person. in california and knows more about science than all the scientists on the globe yeah i mean that makes sense you know he's the closest to the truth he's around the cows <laughs> look can any globist show me maths for equation yeah it's called perspective <laughs> <laughs> everything is perspective all right i got another one here from qc Says it's got to be Witsit. You guys should be getting hazard pay for debating him. <laughs> Jeez, NASA, I need to be on. Uh, listening? I need to be on YouTube a little more often. I, I've been just, you know, debunking the people on TikTok. YouTube has some uh, a good oh, yeah. crowd. It seems like <laughs> I have well, been on TikTok, but uh, after I heard stale TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say uh, if you if you like being sane May maybe stay away from tiktok <laughs> maybe stay away from flat earth <laughs> yeah in general i mean yeah. there's, we're i had a, a, a year and a half now without the flat earth and i'm feeling better already <laughs> sorry about my english though it's been a long time <laughs> like you said you know four years and you're gonna have to take it on again once that prediction's made <laughs> yeah 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 uh, uh tommy tommy doesn't speak english normally he speaks troll in his uh Native land well, of he, uh, yep. troll trollland. He used to work oh, on the docks, so yeah. on the docks. Uh, Cindy, <laughs> Cindy Sue says I nominate Sam. That's from Joey. <laughs> oh yes, down at the docks. All right, so, Cindy Sue says Sam. Thank you for that. So I noticed in the chat, Tal Software. Um, they said Gary Windinger, and I think Gary just Gary Windings describes how easy he is to understand yeah i think he knows everything about uh the coriolis and the um riley criterion and angles and perspective and just about everything he, too bad they can't show it it's just he knows nothing. clicks on a video and points he look here it is nothing nothing uh, all right. Pronon 1990 says, I make my vote nomination for Lemon Bird if it's not too late. If so, change it to Flat Soid. Well, Lemon Bird's not going to be in the contending. So I'll put you down for Flat Soid. I heard of that. There you go. <laughs> Does Lemon Bird still exist? I, I haven't seen him for a while. And some people have said he's been, uh, he's been gone. So I've never even heard that name before. <laughs> Also saw someone saying James Truth, but he is he hasn't done the thing for a, quite a while. Yeah, he's he's been quiet. Probably uh, got Gary locked up. White jacket, long sleeves, you know. Did, did you want me to field. play that song now? 
Well, it, it might. It, it's uh, it's a cover of Robbie Robertson, Somewhere Down the Crazy River, and it's oh, about Gary, yeah. but it would probably minutes, trigger yeah. you a thing, right? Yeah. yeah right, have a listen see. later and have yeah. a laugh, because it's pretty funny. All right. I sent put a out, link in the chat. I sent out a... Yeah, put it in the chat there if you want. Um, I sent out to... Uh, to a few a few other people now, so I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna actually put the the uh, the link in, right into the chat here, um, but I'm gonna make it so that they can only join one at a time. Take cover. <laughs> so if you want to nominate somebody in person, uh, get your especially if you're on camera, um, get get yourself ready. You you can have a vote. Uh, so, all right, let me read a couple more. I got Judy, you got this said. Um, I'm not sure if the sum of the chat's legit. It probably is. So, all right. Zoomy says, uh, all right, that's off topic for now. I'll have to read it later. <laughs> Kyle Wilson. So, my nomination is for a rather small time flurp with an appropriately massive ego named Jason Mathers. Some may know him as Jason Mathers not. Hopefully I'll be able to come to explain a little better. I have my reasons. They are tenfold. All right. <laughs> oh dear. We've got, we've got a bunch. All right. We got Frank Burns coming in first. But we, we, need, clips. we need some for the package deal of a, uh... Derek Dunning and Caleb Kruger. Yeah, we got to get some more people for that. That's a that's a two for one deal. So so the the nominations, they'll make it. I guarantee they'll make it to the to the voting. So then it'll be about the voting videos. So, all right. I think we got uh, Frank Burns is joining us. Welcome, Frank Burns from down in Australia. <coughs> Hello, Michael. Hello. Um, of course, I, I want to vote for Mikey Smith. I'm here. Mike? Uh, hello, hello, Planet Walk. Hey. First face. Ahoy, hoy. <laughs> My man. He, he, yeah. Uh, of course, I'm voting for Mikey Smith. The, the man who can't work out how to use a, a P1000. It's got to be him. I know Frank doesn't exist, by the way. What? Oh, Australia. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love how you how fast you put two and two together there. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, anyway, I, I encourage you all excellent. to change your, your vote to, to Mikey Smith. A worthy contender. Absolutely. Ah, uh, Mikey. Poor Mikey. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Thank you, uh, Frank Burns. We've got, um, all right, I'm taking Globy's coming in. Globy McGlobeface. There he is. Welcome, oh, Globy. He's got hey. a ceiling fan for a hat. This I, love I it. like That's it. An excellent hat. This shill. You let him in here? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Shilling it up, boys. All right, so Globy's from TikTok. He, he does some, also some excellent videos there on TikTok. Gets the flurfs all triggered. It's good stuff. Favorite part of my day. <laughs> Welcome. All right. Well, who's your nominee? Me already? Yes. Let's get oh, right boy. to it. Business. Right to it. Um, Drum roll. We, we all know him as um, Dare I K, the famous I've Lost the Moon. Where did it go? <laughs> I've driven all around town and I can't find the moon. He's my nominee. Professor Derek from the Dunning Kruger Institute for Kids That Science Well and Want to Learn to uh, Do Other Stuff Good Too. Legend has it, he's still looking for the moon. I need to make a self promotion uh, tune. Anyone who saw that video, that was me in the beginning, <laughs> spitting. <No. laughs> the one that was you in the beginning? Yeah, that was oh. looking for the moon. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right. Well, looking Globy. for the moon. Excellent. An excellent show. A worthy contender. And that goes it's into the, the and that goes into the Caleb slash Derek bucket. Yes. So that they, they are contending together. 
Um, all right, we've got, oh, Brenda was going to be in here for, and then Brenda's gone. All right, so let's see, we got, uh, uh, oh, this is, a, I think Leslie Rohrer is coming in. Um, let's see, are we? I think both Derek and uh, Gary is too small in this company. It's, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's right. All right. Is, are you here, Les? Is that Leslie? Yes, it is. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I want to. I want to thank everybody in this. Uh, Les, yes, excuse me. Les, okay. Do Do you have the YouTube video playing in the background, confusing you? <laughs> yeah. yeah let, hold <laughs> you on gotta, one second. You got to mute that. Yep. For those coming in, be ready to mute the YouTube video when you when you join because it'll it'll confuse you. Oh yeah, been there, done that. I uh, I have just been told by my son that I better get on his supper or my ass is grass. Right. So uh, I got to bid y'all a you know farewell and whatnot. And uh, remember, it is flatsoid. Everybody else is second grade <laughs> flurf. It's flatsoid. Come on. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thank too. Yeah. Talk to y'all soon. Take Thank care, fellow yeah. babies. All right. Can you really argue against any of these guys? I mean, no, really? it's, it's, <laughs> it's a thousand way tie for first is what it is. All right. Uh, we'll continue with Les here. Brenda, up, you're up uh, on, on deck to join us. So. Les, are you there? You're, you're muted. Still. There you go. I see a red mic. Yeah, I, I I sent a request to unmute. So, all right, there all right. we go. There, there it is. Go. Yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank this August body of top level intellectuals for allowing me to join your your you know incredibly important debate here today. Um, and uh, I'm sorry that uh, Craig had to leave us because uh, you know I I can see his point about Witsit. I mean Witsit is. It's a strong, strong contender. And yeah, yeah, you know, it really is. And on the other hand, you know, Mike, uh, <laughs> after, while watching or after watching your, your uh, whatever that dumpster fire was today, with some, I was tempted to, <laughs> to vote for some. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, no. He's too I, kind. I, yeah. He, I, yeah, he I, nominated I, himself. So, yeah, really. Um but you know what? When, when I look at, at Dunning Kruger, okay, you know, I mean, to me, the person who is the farthest to the left, I mean, as left as you can get on that graph, and as high in amplitude as you can get on that graph, to me, has to be Eric Dubay. Oh, I was hoping you meant Flatsoid. All right, Eric Dubay. Good choice. No, you guys see your point about Flatsoid. A, also. a <laughs> worthy contender. Yeah, they're Eric Dubay. I mean, the guy is just, oh my God. <laughs> uh, and it's not just him, you know, it's all the people that he attracts and brings into his stupid videos, you know? I mean, they're like, oh, yeah. oh my God. I mean, you know, oh, these, these, oh, these intellectuals, like the guy, the rapper, you know, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> so that's, that's my nomination is, is Eric Dubay, you know? All uh, right. So now everybody can, can, you know, vote for me as dumb fuck of the year. I know you all want to. Go ahead. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, thank choice. you. A, a a good choice. A good choice indeed. Is it, right. is Eric Dubay really a flat earther though? That's up for debate. That that might be the real debate. <laughs> he, he wrote a flat earth children's book. I forgot that. He, That's he bad. put <laughs> he put his name to being a fan of the Führer from World War II. So yeah, he is that horrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, he may be that horrible, but he does lie a lot. <laughs> well, that's true. But but Chris, would you would you say that if you were just lying for money? No, he believes no. it. In order to say yeah. that kind of thing, you have to actually believe it. Yeah. Either that or just really not care about your uh, digital footprint. <laughs> yeah, but there's mm -hmm. there's other I, ways to get fans. That's not going to get you a lot of fans, right? Right. That gets you kicked off of platforms. Yeah, that's going to work against his grift. Yeah, he's nasty. Uh, I, I believe that, um, you know, 
one of the things that Hitler said was something about lying is good or, or something. I can't remember. I'm not a, unlike Eric Dubay, I'm not a fan of Hitler. Oh, All right, can you hear me? We've got <laughs> yes, we've got hey, Brenda. Brenda. Brenda, who who is famous for taking on Jared. <coughs> Sorry, my that throat. Bad? Is... That bad? That bad? <laughs> what, what is that bad? Oh, he's choking it on good. it. <laughs> Need more toonshine. Toonshine. Um, yeah, uh, I, I would almost. Um, I would nominate uh, Jin. I don't know if people know him. He is often on Discord. Jin. Uh, is famous for uh, keeping the uh, YouTube channel open while talking on Discord so that he gets an echo. Yes. And one time he misinterpreted the echo as somebody interrupting him, which he then <laughs> proceeded to interrupt, which then proceeded to spiral into a shouting match, which ended in an existential screech. <laughs> Oh my god. There's no way. All right, I give up. That one got it. That can I change my vote? <laughs> right. That might be oh my does, god. Does there exist a recording of this? Um, there exist recordings of him. I'm not sure if it really captures the full thing of it. Yeah, proof or it didn't I'm happen. That <laughs> that uh, uh, you might ask Jim Panda. You might ask Jim Panda if they have any recordings. All right. That's bad. Yeah. Um, can I can I promote myself? Absolutely. Um, tomorrow at uh, I think it's going to be five central U.S. time. I'm going to be talking to slash debating with uh, um, Flat Earth and Coffee. Ooh. Um, on his channel. On his channel. Yeah. Excellent. I I have not been terribly active uh, i have a, a youtube channel just for videos and stuff but i really go back and forth with myself about about that because i really should appear but then i'm really shy of the camera because i don't want to get any more shit than i already do which i get quite a lot of yeah and and so that sort of like the donkey choosing between two piles of hay I just end up not eating the hay. <laughs> and also, I'm not really sure. There's so many good debunkers. I mean, I, I don't know that I really have a lot to say that's better. I mean, I, I, I messed up a little bit with talking to Jaron. I made some mistakes. Um, I've made mistakes in the past. And so, and so you know, the, uh, people like uh, Craig and and um, by the way, Mattoon, they all think that I am you. Or that I've heard that because yes. we both live in the Minneapolis area. I suppose <laughs> too. Are 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 our accents similar? It could be. We both know. have a. I, I, I don't have an accent. Yeah, neither do I. So yeah, that's uh. that's maybe it. Same I, know, I, I, uh, I can pretty clearly hear the difference, but uh, if I if I hadn't like seen you both in the same room, I, I might be a little confused. Maybe you could probably convince Although, me. I did just see uh, MC Tunes Tunes mouth moving when Brenda was speaking. So, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, by the way, Planner Planner Walk, um, one of your last videos, you your your the, <laughs> the 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 skin around your eyes and, and your lips looked a little bit purplish. Um, when you are a zombie, uh, cosmetics is really important. Yeah. Um, <laughs> was, that uh, I, was that too subtle? Was, was that too subtle? All right. We got it. Maybe, I, maybe I need to though. work on my makeup a bit better. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'm going to, uh, we're going to bring in the TT guy. Uh, so th there's a lot of people on the panel here. Stick around if you want, yep. but. We, oh, okay. We can only have so many, uh, you know, before it just gets to be too many. Uh, I, I think we yeah, definitely yeah. need to find if there's a recording of this this argument echo Jin thing because um, Jin, Jin is is a something is an experience. He's been on here twice. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm yes. just I'm you're describing this having an argument with his own echo, and I'm just imagining a budgie in a mirror. Pretty oh. much, pretty much, yeah. A budgie. Yeah, just a little budgie in a cage, just pecking at their budgie, own reflection because they can't work out what's going on. What's a budgie? Yeah. A parakeet. Like a little bird. Parakeet. Oh, okay. Oh. Anyway, right. I should probably I should probably get going. So uh, let me know when Kent Hovind wins. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, I McTurn, think he'll uh, make it. Yes. Flat, flat means apartment. Uh, Petrol means okay. gas. I, yeah. It was nice to meet Bubbler. you. For, uh, lift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got the TT guy here. Welcome. Howdy, folks. Mike Check. Mike What's Check. I take it that Mike the, is there. The two <laughs> T's. There. The two T's in your name stand for Lake Titicaca. Uh, yeah, you can have it that way if you want. Or is it TT yes. race on Man, Man, I Love Man? It actually stands for that tall guy. That was uh, how a lot of people used to say. I don't know who that guy is, but he, that tall guy over there. So mm -hmm. um, anyway, um, I just wanted to ask. So, so the, what does the um, the suffix "oid" mean to you? So, like in you know, humanoid. What does "oid" mean? Similar, uh, some sort of a grouping. Because uh, I understand it means like, so like humanoid. It's not quite human. It's human-like. Oh, so okay. I mean, I think adding to the. Uh, <laughs> to the Jim Wittery of uh, Flatsoid is that his freaking channel name means flat like, which is uh, really describes the, the globe. The globe is flat like because it's so big. So, um, yeah, that's just my um, my, my extra little bit of information for Flatsoid. His uh, channel name is fucking stupid. Whoops. <laughs> Can't argue that. Uh, so, I oh, does is this related to your nomination? Um, well, I mean, I'll just add a bit of evidence to uh, to having flat side. Yeah, I mean, he's probably uh, <laughs> just put him down, man. Done. He's, flat side is pulling away. <laughs> well, the, these are these are not the voting videos yet. Um, They're just so, the nominations. Yeah, the way it works is is that there will be voting videos on my channel and on FDFE's channel. Um, every thumbs up counts for ten votes, I think, and every view counts for one vote. And you can watch a video multiple times. I think YouTube caps it at like one a day. I don't know exactly. Uh, I have two soccer accounts. <laughs> yeah. So you can, we encourage vote, vote early, vote often. And then I'm going to put, uh, put the nomination videos also on TikTok and we'll make sure there's some sort of a balanced way that those votes count similarly. I think the flirts should be allowed to vote for this as well, because I think it's very important that they're, they're allowed to say as to who's bringing their arguments down. Absolutely, they can. And just by watching these videos or giving it a thumbs up. I have an adjunct vote for Santos Bonicelli for um, 10 to 15 maximum security. Yes. he Prison would be too kind for him, I think. <clears throat> All right, we're going to add in, uh, let's see, the rocket couch is coming in. Prepare yourself. While that's okay. happening, I'm going to read this down. And we've got the brainless steel uh, NL says, put me down for not Dr. Kent Hovind. Thank you, brainless NL. I have added you in. <clears throat> uh, rocket couch. Oh, rocket couch isn't here yet. So i will i'll uh, let's see we got uh string news one says the scottish moon is made of green haggis and it's usually pissed as well oh. <laughs> pissed. for americans pissed means drunk to a to a brit i uh, i just need to sorry i just need to bring out there's a comment as well ace fox had put uh, a a comment saying that jaron deserves a nomination because mm -hmm. i've resurrected his scrubbed uh, iss video i do have to admit i i stole that from from mc2 <laughs> tune tune deserves the credit for that one there oh and you know who actually dug it up was dfe bryant myers so wow. it's all him it's not me so go to I, I sent Brian to an invite, but he's uh, he's not uh, uh, read it yet, so he may be busy. But we've got the Rocket Couch joining us. Welcome, Mister Couch. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, okay. So real, real quick, I'm just going to give a couple of reasons for um, that I'm 
uh, nominating the the individual that I am. Uh, Jason matters not. Um, my favorites are probably one. He tried to debunk a video that I put out, which was a joke video. So good job. Um, and the other one, this is the second year in a row that he has asked me to nominate him for them. And this time, he, in fact, knows better. Yeah, yeah. last year he didn't know. And this year he does, and he still wants to be nominated? Yep. <laughs> this is how dumb they are. I mean, what That's are fifth get? extra host right there. <laughs> he is shooting for last place. It's good. Yep. <laughs> race to the bottom. <laughs> when someone nominates themselves, that got to be extra. Yeah. Uh, All right. But I'm not should, should, should I should I note you as Kyle Wilson, or as the um, Rocket Couch, or either or I go by either, or as uh, Mallory's plaything. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Okay. Boop. Right. Got I'm it. All right. Well, welcome. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm going to add in here. We, we got Loki Fish Mars coming in while Loki Fish is doing that. Mr. Unite for the t Children uh, sent $2 for Bev Stop Talking. Good luck. Our Mr. Unite for the Chill Wind. I'll add that. Thank you. Uh, all right. We've got Loki Fish looking dapper. How's it going this evening? Good. Oh, my. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So I have a nomination, but uh, for my nomination, yeah, I'd like to nominate Kevin Bobbick for Lurf to Nuke from Orbit this year. Uh, I, I sent a little under the table money for that, if that's okay. Oh, wait, th this is the wrong show. Sorry. To, to send them to Orbit. <laughs> uh, my nomination this year, if you could combine... All the flurfs on Facebook, they might count as a single sentient being. So it Maybe. seeing that they're all third third string uh bench warmer flurfs, they're my not Facebook is my nomination for top left. <laughs> all of Facebook. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. Uh, it's a very large category. It's, it's a strong one. <laughs> hard to Facebook hard to beat. Flurfs. I mean that—that that is where the Flat Earth Society said they have uh, members all around the globe. Oh, there's a Twitter. Yeah, that Twitter. was Twitter. No, oh, I think I just seen it reposted there. Then, um, yeah, people repost that all the time. Of course, that was faked. <laughs> um, I interviewed the guy that manages that account on tick on Twitter, and he hates it. But people send him that picture every single day, <laughs> and he told me that, and I chuckled, and I could tell. He has exactly zero sense of humor about it. <laughs> so go to the Flat Earth Society on Twitter and send him that picture. He loves it. That's amazing. Well, seeing we can't nuke Kevin Bobbick from orbit, um, I'll go with Flatsoid this year. Yes! Having dealt, with him, having dealt with him in the past, oh yeah, he definitely deserves it. He he was gonna do celestial navigation. He never did. <laughs> I Your offered it. I I offered him that free sextant, and he didn't take it. Well, he, you don't even Pretty need sex. the, the sextant to win the ten thousand dollars. You just got to show how to do celestial navigation using flat Earth. Did he also block you, uh, Lockfish? What was that? Didn't he bl block you also after that? Yes, um, I'm actually now blocked by all the big names. Oh, lucky you <laughs> for offering us excellent. Yay! Yep. Yeah, congratulations, dude. I mean, that's really you know that's something to say. <laughs> well, you know, pseudoscientists hate uh, scrutiny. That's why they block. Have, has anybody like nominated his sidekick? Um, Khan! <laughs> Mike Khan? Khan! He's, he's, he's not even... He's he's too bad to be in a loser competition. That's the problem with Mike Khan. <laughs> All right. Uh, Earth is life is coming. And then 
After that is Chris from Westchester County. <laughs> While Earth is Life is coming in, I got to read this. Lael says, uh, one time I went looking for the sun all over town and then I realized that the sun set two hours before that. <laughs> You, you should uh, you should teach Derek how to how to understand that concept. Oh, gosh, I can't believe he seriously. He it's did, not did possible. You see the, the second video he did, he did another video saying that the moon disappeared. Yeah. Did you see that one from his apartment? Yeah. yeah, I've seen I've seen a bunch of them that I've literally every single day I just see remakes of both of those videos. Somebody no, wait, just he... outside and they're like, I can't find the moon. <laughs> No way. You're saying he made another real one? Yeah, there's a second video in his apartment where he's like, oh, you will not believe it. The, the moon was just there and now it's gone. <laughs> oh Have you God. not seen that one reposted, Globy? I can I can hook you up. So um, I was looking for the sun all night and then it dawned on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna grab a water real quick. Really I didn't casual. know this was dad joke time. <laughs> <laughs> that was in a movie I watched last night. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Um, all right. Earth is Life go. is still trying to get audio connected. Um, all right. Plastic Citizen says, I wonder how sovereign citizens would compete with flat earthers. Uh, well, considering that, fl that sovereign citizens compete with themselves to get more fines and jail time, they would probably actually actively fight each other to, to like win a loser competition. There's a bit of overlap. I've seen um, a sovereign citizen with a flat earth sticker, um, oh, yeah. bumper sticker. Yeah. Yeah. We got I, I think, it's it, you know? Yeah. For uh, up and coming talent in the future. Um, one possibility I think is maybe Kyle. Do you think? Kyle, Kyle uh, professor from no Kyle from uh, uh, like Ghostbusters. I mean, Globebusters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What's he's it? a I forget professor at the Flat Earth Institute of Science. Oh, yeah. You called him no. He, th that's what threw me is you called him a professor. I mean, come yeah, on, Professor Kyle Adams of the Flat Earth Institute of Science. Well, on modern day debate in in a proving God argument, he said that. God exists because I am God. I exist. Therefore, God exists. Wow. Our, I am a God. Because he's a Mormon, oh, he believes yeah, that yeah, yeah. they're I all God. God. Yeah. I am a oh. God. I exist. Therefore, God exists. But I don't think that that's really orthodox I, in, for, for in, Mormons. Uh, in, yeah, I don't. I don't think that even they would agree with that formulation he sounds like a very humble guy well uh, he's I, got a perpetual smile perpetual smile and he yeah. doesn't understand things very well yeah he's not so I, I i would call him an up-and-coming talent he's talent he he has a uh um uh he does have a degree he has a degree in art he calls it a bachelor's in art in science. Is that you know, a bachelor's of science in art? That's what he calls it. I'm like, I I think a bachelor's of art in art would be probably what it actually says. But I asked him, well, what yeah. what science classes did you take? Well, like a math class. So like he had to take, you know, math 101 or remedial math 92 oh. or whatever it was. No, our arts degrees are given in the liberal arts college, not in. Yeah, not was in, it also yeah. JM Truth who said he had uh, something in that? J yeah, JM Truth said he has a master's of science in pamphlet making. It's actually yeah. like a digital, <laughs> digital computer creation degree done not you know done remotely, but he's a master's in science. Oh, so. kind of like a <laughs> trade engineer, you know, just showed up to my house to. Deliver my pizza. <laughs> All right, exactly. <laughs> well, so well just... speaking of JM Truth, is there any more um, uh, content, <laughs> e entertainment content? Like, is there going to be a, a Flat Earth two, a level two? Any any more uh, movie films or or they videos announced number three. They that'll come three? out. In, that'll come out in April. Yeah. 
So the the out evidence? the outed will there be evidence? Will there be evidence? No, of course not. No. Uh, yeah. So it's 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 by the the main guy behind it is Tanner Stewart, who is a Satanist. He follows Mark Braun, who claims to be Satan, making him a Satanist. Mark Braun wants people to go to the North Pole and literally jump into the lake of fire that he says is there. Uh, you, in order to get permission to do this, you have to do a blood ritual and upload the video, which Tanner has done. There you go. Wow. All right. Yeah, We've got our... most, most important questions of the night here. Uh, Glowman, is there pineapple on your pizza? Yes or no? No. <laughs> Thank you. Good man. Good man. Yeah. But buffalo chicken with banana peppers. That sounds good. Really All right, good. we've got we've got oh, stand back everybody. We've got Chris <laughs> CC from Westchester County joining us. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Chris? I don't hear anything. I hear nothing from Chris from Westchester County. He's 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 flurfing his audio settings there. <laughs> uh, on audio. All right. And and uh so this oh, he's working. Earth. He's working on audio, and Earth is Life is also working on audio. So, all right, let me read this here. Mister QTube first name Fa says, "Now I know why there's a picture of the moon on the back of my milk milk carton." <laughs> Always oh, <man>. missing. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, flat Earth Institute of Science is there a lot of porcelain and running water in this thing? <laughs> it, it's his house. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I had him on, I asked him, "Well, what you know? What's the endowment at the at the uh, at the college?" Or um, his wife's a double D, right? Yeah. That's the endowment. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if that's the case. And I said, "Well, what you know? What's campus life like? You know, do you do you have dorms, or does everybody live off campus? Um, what what sports teams do you have? Of course, you wouldn't have any spinning ball sports. You'd only have flying disc sports, right?" And he's like, huh, I, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> <laughs> They're only allowed to play frisbee golf. <laughs> and ultimate frisbee, please. Come on. Okay. You got me there. <laughs> uh all right. So Loki Fish, who's here, had super chatted earlier, says I nominate Bobic for Flurfed and Nuke from Orbit. Uh Free Rebel 626 says I nominate Rich Uncle Pennybags for top left. Who's Rich Uncle Pennybags? Oh, Sounds like know. a scam. Is he dressed like the Monopoly man? <laughs> yeah. Does he have a monocle and a cane and a top hat? All right. Um, Justin Messenger says we should nominate any flurf that thinks North is up. Is there such a thing as a tie for first place? No, no. This is a highly contested uh, competition. So. Uh, all right. Got a few more while we're waiting for Chris and uh, Earth is Life. I'm a little behind here. Uh, pronoun set. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> wow. Somebody's having some audio fun here. Was that Chris? I think that was Chris. Yeah. I, I have a feeling I know what's going on. Um, <laughs> pronoun 1990 says, I want to put Lemon Bird for top left. Did I already do that? I mean, he's not going to get anything. Come on, he's not. He, you got to be. You got to be trying. Lemon Bird hasn't been trying. So, um, we've got Story News One says in a letter to Ernst Mach, Einstein wrote that Witsit is the top leftist of all lefters. It must be true. I saw a meme. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, who was the flat earther who came on your show, uh, Mike, and um, claimed to have both a, a degree in both mechanical and electrical engineering? That would be John Refracted Curvature from the Oakley yeah, Panel yeah, yeah. Clown Troop. Possibly future talent. Oh, yeah. To yeah. claim that he has double degrees in... Uh, that is impressive. Engineering fields and has no clue that you can measure an angle from curves because calculus Thank exists you. and you have to, yeah. you, you do, it's year one of university 
where you're an engineering student, a full year of calculus. Then you do differential equations, matrices, um, and, or, you know, engineering, a whole bunch of engineering math classes. So in his defense, though, he does follow someone who openly claimed on a, on a call that you can't triangulate the height of the sun because we see the sun set and that obviously can't happen on a flat earth. They don't know what the sun is, so, so of course. Oh gosh. Yeah, they're ignorant earthers. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they claim that uh, to claim that the sun is an object is, is called the, the, the physical assumption bias. Oh, my gosh. Right. Just I mean, anything to escape you're, reality, you're, right? Yeah, you're aware of that, though, right? They, they actually, oh, yeah, as, this comes from Arwen, who says that the sun is a non-local hologram. That, that's a non-local hologram bias. I'm saving up for an Arwen uh, here. It's coming nicely here. Yeah, Arwen's, <laughs> Arwen's a special, special boy. He's a special boy. Tommy, Arwen is, is about six months away from having as much hair as you. Yeah, I see this bold spot. <laughs> yep. I resemble that remark. <laughs> Globy, you're getting okay, Globy's got Derek in the background. <laughs> I just saw that. I looked over at the street. <laughs> That's awesome. What did I miss? <laughs> look at look at look at Globy's got Derek in the background there. I gotta get his face out for everyone oh. to see. This is subliminal messaging. <laughs> you gotta make uh, posters and post them all over town so you at this guy on TikTok he's looking for the moon <laughs> <laughs> you get, his, get his phone number this, this guy's so crazy he wears a hat in all his videos right uh, did anybody a, see just wait, just wait Brenda this is good he, I'm sorry he, he wears a hat in all his videos and nobody could figure out why for the longest time and finally, he made a video, which he still has up on his page, where he admitted that he wears a hat because he thought he looked like me. We had the same. He thought we had the same haircut. And when he when he wakes up every day, he sees me in the mirror. He literally sees me in the mirror, and he can't handle it. So he puts a hat on and wears a hat all day. <laughs> so My crazy. God, I wish I could live in somebody's head that like that. Right? Holy crap! Cool. Yeah, cool story, bro. Yeah. I, I know this is a child-friendly channel, Mike, but remember, uh, was it um, Nathan Thompson who said he stopped after he watched a video of, uh, not Flat Earth Millionaire, but the other guy, the music guy. He had stopped, um, yeah, because he's seen his videos. Nathan Thompson? Yeah. That, that's the guy who was uh, handing out the, the flyers at a school, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He said that on a video. What these, yeah, these people are shameless on the internet. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want that clip, I've got it on my channel. If you want to hear about why Nathan Thompson stopped uh, beating the meat. Well, no, well you do you do have to be self aware to have to experience shame. Yeah, fair, fair enough. So, here's Good the point. thing: Tanner Stewart, flat Earth millionaire, is a huge fan of Santos. Uh, Bonacci and Santos is into the weird version of tantric where you don't get to come to completion. So Santos is into yeah. it. And I, then I think very much that it's likely that, um, that, uh, Tanner Stewart is into it and is, you know, not pleasing his wife. And that's why Tanner told Nathan to stop whacking it. It was uh, Owen Benjamin. Is that so you don't Owen, okay. Is that so you don't give away your essence? Yes. <laughs> and Santos like, like just from, put out a video a couple did today or the, I don't know recently on that very topic that you're you're you can't let that happen. That's like straight out of Doctor Strangelove. I that general. Know. I, I have to say, I don't remember you, that. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Doctor Strange. Though you YouTube guys have some weird shit going on over here. <laughs> wow, uh, see TikTok. We, we have this thing called guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're very different. The things that that TikTok will flag is 
totally different from the things that YouTube look like. <laughs> See, we, we uh, I guess YouTube is just the wild west of flat earth or something. I don't know what's going on. It's it's where it started in 2015, 2014. Um, all right, Lael is here. <coughs> wants to wants to put in a nomination. Can you hear me? Yes. Nope. <laughs> okay. I was just making sure. I don't think this ha this Zoom has push to talk. I could be wrong. So I would like to put Kyle Adams in there. And the reason I want to put Kyle Adams in there is because he's the same religion on, as I am. He believes the Earth is flat. But yet Joseph Smith taught there were many, many, many planets, innumerable, many times throughout his life. Same, same with Brigham Young and all the other, other prophets. But how could the Earth be flat if all the other planets were spheres? And and there was a prophet in one of the general conferences recently who even declared, no matter what, if everyone on Earth believed it was flat, that the Earth would still be a sphere. But yet Kyle Adams still believes that the Earth is flat. And that's why I nominate him top left. A worthy contender. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's uh there there's a guy on TikTok, uh Dan McClellan, who's a Mormon uh like theologian. Like he he knows he's like fluent. I know who he is. Yeah. And and he actually covered a video of me. Um, because there's three verses, uh, three translations of Isaiah forty twenty two, I think, that say that the earth is a globe or a ball or a sphere. Bullshit. And, and uh what <coughs> oh bullshit <laughs> that's that that's chris? chris that's chris from westchester county <laughs> anyway so dan mcclellan uh, uh addressed is my, that really my, him uh is that really anyway. you chris from new york uh westchester county um uh... is that someone just playing him or is that really, really close really close this is a purple leaf the speed of light. How oh, no, is right. it measured? <laughs> cops, the cops around here, they pick and choose who they want to arrest. They let a Mustang Looking drive cool. by at 120 miles per hour. And meanwhile, they pull you over for going over a double yellow line. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it, it's all bullshit, dude. <laughs> Thank you. I thought only bulls did that, but okay. <laughs> It's, Thank you, Chris. I, well, well said, Chris. Can I nominate the soundboard? <laughs> Find out where the uh, edge is. <laughs> After the you are a flat earth. A good, very good contender because it's everybody. Well, well, Chris, if your wife isn't nearby, idiot. <laughs> Somebody's got to tell him. I say, well, Chris, if your wife Someone isn't nearby, standing. idiot. Just bullshit. There she is. <laughs> now Globy's upgraded his background no, his background to Ron. Hey, my favorite flatter there. <laughs> he uh, he debated me one time, and we were just talking about the definition of up for about two hours. Oh that was gosh. fun. <laughs> so, Such a contrarian. He just can't accept that up has an actual meaning that people don't argue about. Yeah. That's because you go up to your grandma's house, though, or down. Yeah. To your grandma's house. Yeah. That was all when I entered the stage four years ago, five years ago. Yeah. Or if you're traveling from Kansas to Colorado, you're going up. He'll find the 25th definition of something and be like, this 25th definition here kind of sounds like it doesn't say up. I, I forgot that. He literally went on Merriam Webster and was pulling up the eighth definition of the word up, skipping past all of the other words. Yes. Yeah. It was great. Why would you even want to define up? It's just up. Because on flat earth, up just means away from the flat earth. I yeah. guess. But yet, if somebody drops a mic on a floor, that proves gravity. <laughs> Oh, so you're going to quote Neil deGrasse Tyson now. Is that right? <laughs> oh, that, that reminds me. I went on to uh, the Tartaria server last night. Oh, and I said. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're. we're yeah. Okay. That's I, I, big I, into I, authority. I asked him the simple question. I says, if you are, uh, I can't remember who I was asking you to. If you're on your roof and you were holding a rock, 
and you dropped it and Einstein and, and Newton were there measuring the time it took to hit the ground, would they agree on that time? And they went off on me about, well, that's not bending of space time, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that has nothing to do with my question. I just said, would they agree that the rock hit the ground at the same time? They never liked that question because it's so simple yeah. that a first layer would answer it, yes. That's why they don't flat, most flat earthers don't like me because I ask first grade questions that they can't deny. But well, they do while anyway. our children you, right now. You ask first first grade questions, that means they don't understand the question. Yeah, it's been a while since they've been in first grade. Talk grade about, at all. Leo asks talk. very deceptive Leo asks very deceptively simple but pointed questions. It's a trap. <laughs> yes. Yes, they feel it's a trap because a first grader could walk in and say, well, duh, yeah, you can measure it and, and everyone would measure the same thing or whatever. You're an idiot. Oh, couldn't have said it better myself. You're such a shill. <laughs> yeah, really. Incredibly stupid. I agree because NASA sent me here to ask the simple questions. I see some light flickering at Earth is life. Yeah, have you, got, have you gotten your check yet from NASA? Mine's late. <laughs> uh, they, they sent me some uh, NASA merch that was never meant to be seen by the public, as we can oh. see here. NASA mm. lies. Yep. Right there. <laughs> uh, I got a T-shirt. I got a T-shirt from I, NASA. I just get these DMs that say you need to super chat people. They don't I have high hopes. <laughs> we were descending into, into nothingness. Good thing you're back to moderate us. Awesome. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, guys, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to bid everyone adieu here because uh, I need to get to bed. <laughs> now, you you're delusional. Delusional. Thank you, thank you for stopping yeah, by. Awesome video, Steve. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks very much, guys. See you later. All right. So yeah. Have a good time. Not a good input, dude. Thanks. Earth is life is still trying to connect. <laughs> there was some light flickering there, so his camera is somewhat on. His camera was yeah, but the audio. Maybe it's in his in his pocket. His pocket calling you. He's yeah, he's <laughs> no, he's been on here before. Uh I don't know. Earth's no, life on, has he has we, my very favorite video uh, on Witsit. The I looked it up. I looked it up. That video, Earth's life, is fantastic. Get on here so that I can congratulate you because I watched it again today. It's so good. Um <clears throat> Bill McGuire says, How up. has no one mentioned Dion Smo? <laughs> Is that the one in the bathtub? Oh, the guy in the bathtub. Yeah. Speaking of Dion Smo, a week from tomorrow. You're debating him. I yeah, I, I, I asked him, can you get your maps? He's like, I'll get my maps. Which probably means he won't have his maps. There is no map. There's no way we can get a map. That was what I saw here just a couple of weeks ago. I, I don't remember who it was. It asked a great question. If we have the FE, the eco map, distant map, why do we have all the other protections like uh, Mercator and all of the others? We can all use one map. It covers everything. A so true map us. of the flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one should cover everything. You see it all. Cover with a dome. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, um, the, the, uh, the, the answer from a certain um, group of uh, flat earth debaters is that all maps are flat earth map um, that was converted. Sky. Yeah, it was converted into a globe by by the um, oh, what's that equation? Haversine. The Haversine um, equation is what tr what converts a flat map into a globe map. Who, who said that was one of Oakley's guys, right? Yes, yes. Was that a Brian's logic that claimed Brian. that? Yes, yes. Logic. That's so dumb. Yeah. How, how yeah, does the Haversine formula, which measures distances between points on a globe, how does that convert one map, a globe, to a projection map? It doesn't. Well, it's that's, too big. It's too big. There, there, there that's you what go. she said. Uh, <laughs> Mike, you know, I mean, haven't you learned by now that you'd not expect anything that makes sense out of the mouth of a flurf? I don't remember them telling us that. Nope. We should. 
Well, in that group, by the way, in in that group, Brian is considered the mathematical guy. Oh my gosh! Mm, Oh god! Is that that because he has all the logic? Oh my god! I I I couldn't believe it tonight. Some you know couldn't (laughs) couldn't even didn't even know what the square of something was. He says, "Oh well, that's you know a factor to." Well, he had addition. He he had addition. No, it wasn't addition. It was sequences. sequences. I know. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Incredibly stupid. Yeah, that's a one way of that's saying it. Dumb. Oh my god. And they do that all I, the time. Uh, they they like they're like, according to the globe math, blah blah blah. I'm like, hold on a second. Let's do the math right. Oh, math is fake. Well, hold on a second. You used <laughs> math. Mm-hmm. You just used the wrong math. Either use math or don't use math. And if you're going to use it, use it right. But, yeah. And that's, that's just such a weird what? thing to say. They're using math to debunk math. Yeah. Does that even make no, sense? No, they're trying to use math to debunk the globe, right? They go and they're like, well, according to globe math, eight inches per mile squared, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and the answer is, well, you're using the wrong formula for bottom-up obstruction. And then the answer is one of two things, right? No, oh, that's the right formula. Or... Well, you can't use math. Like you, you did. Seems like yeah. Earth is life is uh, not having we, the best though. Yeah, we see yeah, Earth is life. <laughs> Are we sure did, that's did, really did, him? Did, yeah. did you find the moon? Did you find the moon? But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the moon? D- drive around town. Where's All right, well, we've got somebody that has named himself Mikey Smith, but has the same uh, avatar... <laughs> As Frank Burns, who's joining. So uh, welcome, Mikey Smith with Mike with Frank Burns' avatar. Um, <laughs> Frank face. While I, I just, that happens, just a second here. I, um, I just want to be fair here. Uh, I once went around town looking for the sun. And I realized the sun had set two hours before that. Never heard that before. Interesting. <laughs> Nice. The sun and the I moon are the same something. exact size. Red's not in the chat. Mallory's not in the chat. And Chris from Westchester's in the call. The sun and the moon are not real objects. <laughs> <laughs> How long to sound in space? It's starting to sound more and more like a conversation with Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Earth is Life, uh, oh, Earth is Life's microphone has now shown up, so it might be uh, might be working. It's muted, Where but before it? it wasn't even there. So, all right, Earth is Life also previously super chatted, said, if Witsit doesn't win top left, I will demand it. <laughs> to think that you have debunked relativity is the most top leftiest position you can hold. Apparently. And the way that he thinks that he debunked relativity is by cherry picking quotes from the guy that figured it out. Imagine this. Let's saw it. And uh, was it top center. less than ten meters apart? Imagine the singularity. Whew. Yeah, that's dense. Yeah. yeah. If, if gravity truly was density, I don't know how they get out of bed every single morning. <laughs> There's no mass. <laughs> I like their meme of like gr- the bird flying. They're like gravity off, gravity on. But hold on a second. They say it's density. So density off, density on. It's the same thing. How is density selective? If gravity can't be selective in their mind, right? Then how is density selective? But gravity uh, is, it's always going to bother every flat earther. A TikTok flurf named uh, Nick Flat Earth uh, once said, um, if the moon's gravity is strong enough to pull on the tides, then how does it rain? How does it what? How does it rain? Ring? Rain. Rain. Okay. I remember that. That was a, that might have been one of his best moments in all honesty. That's not one of the worst things he said. (laughs) Who was it? Craig was talking about density. If you had 
four batteries and all added four more batteries, you have density. The same density. What's that flat side? You added density because you had two of them. That's adding density. There is no mass. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, all right. I'm, I, I got a super chat from, and I'm, I, I was taught how to say it right, and I'm, and I'm not remembering. Janosch Takas, probably wrong, says, I'd like to nominate Kent Hovind. His creation seminar turned me from an agnostic to an atheist. Well, thanks, Kent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. um, oh, I missed this one. Uh, <laughs> NANA says, Comfortably Numb is my favorite song. And that was to uh, Dick Dawson, who covered it with Comfortably, comfortably Dumb. Oh, man. <laughs> Earth is like that right? way, man. That's why NASA, your fucking cartoon god, has to fake everything. Fake! Just like your attitude is fake. Thank you, NASA. Boy. Yeah. I need to make a soundboard. <laughs> We've got dueling soundboards here. I, I, need, I need a Ron soundboard, like stat. This is fantastic. <laughs> He's on live enough. He <laughs> channels all day long. Show me how these fly upside down, boy. With your you need to take a flashlight. Satellite. Boy. <laughs> I love you. that. <laughs> that video is boy. so good. You are a waste of skin, boy. <laughs> waste of skin. <laughs> you lie to your fucking. <laughs> Oh, who was that guy yeah. that was on? Was this this he, one? He has the same resemblance as Frank Burns. He has no lips. He's just laying <laughs> like his couch has no lips. Really? Who, who was that guy that was on, Mike, that was just calling you every name, that this one vulgarity after another uh, and just calling you one name after another? Uh, uh, which one? There have been a few. <laughs> well, um, this guy was so angry and he was calling you you know, your mother is this and all this sort of crap. Very time. <laughs> well, huh? there's been Simon Ramos has done that. Um, Demok. Demok did that. Uh, 33UC has done similar things. Um, uh, oh, Santos Bonacci has, uh, was definitely, uh... Oh, was that who was? He was in a, he was in some tropical area. You could see there were tropical plants around him. I call him Bonacelli. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that that skinny was, guy, really skinny guy. Yeah, he's yeah, about yeah. he's about three foot two. Um, <laughs> uh, when he's you know in the morning, he's shorter at night after gravity has shrunk him a little bit. <laughs> density. Uh, has, uh, he no, his, no mass. has he and his tech guy worked out the uh, the uh, Zoom yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> the first time he was on to debate Craig. Um, they couldn't figure out the tech and then, it, and then people were mocking him for not being able to figure out the tech. How do, how does, how zoom works? And he's like, we weren't using zoom, but <laughs> they were live streaming to YouTube, the video that had the zoom logo in the bottom corner. <laughs> so he just blatantly lied that they weren't using zoom when it was on screen. Tune, I would also like to vote Jon Snow as top left. No, nope. no, 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 no. Rejected. No. Why would you? <laughs> Why? I was so I, I when I get scammers that contact me on Facebook, I uh, sometimes I, I I bring in Jon Snow. And and I'd been uh toying with a scammer for a couple days, and I told this uh, the scammer is um the, the scammer's like, I'm a business person. It was you know, they use a female account to try to get the the you know you i'll fly to you you just need to send me money huh, right. so and i'm like oh you're a business person well we're looking to hire somebody for the company that we're we're purchasing can you come to vegas to meet with us we'll send you money um but you need to talk with my business partner john snow so i brought him to into a chat and we're going back and forth and so 
what happened finally is John and I both came clean and told the scammer that we do the same thing. <laughs> and I'm from Moldova. <laughs> <laughs> People will buy that. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so so we're like, we're trying to get money out of this person. And I gave them a, a, an account for somebody else I know. Like, oh, you need to you need to get them. Anyway. <laughs> Um, all right, Waikiki Kao 885 says Austin all the way the smug git. I shall add you. No, yeah, he's that all right. Uh Chris is still here, but but of course the fake uh the the soundboard of Mikey Smith. That was that was pretty good. <coughs> I don't think John Snow is in the overconfident camp. He, you, you tell him something, he goes, oh, "All right, okay, right, I'm, I'm wrong." So that's why he doesn't get top left. I think. Well, John Snow's not a flurf. Yeah. And Flutter when you correct him, he makes correction. So he's just a stunned believing dinosaurs. Well, he's got that. He's got that going. Um. All right. Oh, oh. I haven't checked my emails. All right, hold on. I got to read through my emails here. How many uh, spam? <laughs> all right, we've got that one. We've got that. That Mango T wants to join. So Mango T is a flurf. Um, Flat Earther, sort of. So all right, Mango T, you can join. Mango T, I d debated me a while ago. So. All right, um, let's see. We've got Abu Dhabi. All right, so these are the fake ones from... It doesn't matter. Or Derek is going to make it, but some fake ones from uh, Flat Earth is Nonsense. So, no, no, no. I'm skipping the dumb, the, the fake oh, ones. Oh, I love it. Let's see. All right, uh, Samuel Murley says, I'd like to have an honorable mention for Matt Powell. Unsure if he really is a Flat Earther. But what he's said over the years and more recently is the top left leftist, if two lefts. But the real nomination is Reishi, five zeros. She's always spewing the same nonsense, always gets debunked, but just doesn't stop. Now her videos are just getting more and more ridiculous. All right, that was from Cal L. Cool J. I think she's down the uh, spiral, yeah. Yeah, well... That's so far the only one for her. So what? it probably won't be a uh, a contender in the end. What's the threshold? Mook? What's that? What's the threshold, Mook? Um, we'll see. We'll see where the numbers match. It'll be it'll be a, a, a reasonable number. We had 31 last year. It was just too many. So... <laughs> All right, you pick the top X number. Yeah, we'll 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 find it. You know, there's a bunch of single and double nominees and all of them. Let's be honest, there's two that matters. Uh, there's only one that matters. It's flat going all the way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I to, to be fair, to be fair, I I think I think it's gonna actually come down. My guess, we'll see, is this gonna be Austin Flatsoid and and the the power couple from TikTok. Um, they're probably going to be the the big ones, the Dare, the Bullshit. Derek and Kara, Caleb. I don't know, man. We're, we're coming in as the underdogs, man. I don't know. I, Gary's well, not going to make it. TikTok wasn't even uh, uh, you know on the radar last year, and now you guys are coming in strong. So, all right. So remind me who's the current holder. The current holder is Mitchell from Australia, who after oh, the Aussie, after Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Uh, exactly <laughs> after he won. He's gone away um, almost completely. So, Oof. maybe that's a trend. Keep it up. It, it oh, kind uh, of is. Uh, Riley won a couple years ago and mostly disappeared. Um, Southern <laughs> Israelite won. We're talking also DFOTY won and then disappeared. So, you know, maybe maybe that that'll happen. Taking them down one by one. By the way, uh, uh, Globy, you might want to make sure Heretic doesn't see your camera. He's going to think there's two suns on, like, in front of your face. Oh my gosh! 
<laughs> Wild Heretic, who I had on last week, the Concaver. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, yeah. That, that was felt, a fun conversation to I watch. I felt <laughs> bad for him, even. He was so out of his element. He didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah, but was, you know what? On He was really nice to you. But then on the, on the Discord server, he was not nice to anyone he was being real a real dick on the discord server oh did he come into discord mm -hmm. yeah he did or at least someone who oh, okay. with that name you know and, and uh he was he was real acid you know that's uh, how he is he uh it's he's 4 a different person gonna pop out. what was that it's 4 a.m and i was gonna pop out all right tommy okay. thanks a lot yeah. thanks nice Samuel, you. and uh good yeah. luck everybody have a good one. Bye bye. Right. Yeah, as for a uh, heretic, that's just kind of how he is in the TikTok comment sections, especially. He he's a real feisty, feisty little guy. But then once you actually talk to him, he's pretty tame. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, Stuart Christmas, who is Lloyd's brother, says Zoids was also a set of Lego-like toys when I was a kid. Maybe Flat Zoid is referencing those. Irrelevant anyway, because it's wits it all the way. Lloyd said so. Huh. All right, Stuart Christmas goes to Witsit. So reminder, these uh, if they're over two nominees, uh, nominations, each additional nomination counts for 10 votes. Interesting. <laughs> uh, Chris from Westchester County, are you here to nominate yourself? I have high hopes. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a flat earther, by the way. I'll I'll add you to the list. Hey, and, oh God, CC is is a special kind of moron. Uh, it really is. The thing <laughs> is, bullshit. most flurfs that have a YouTube channel, even if it's just a little while, get to the point where they are Papa Flurf to somebody. This is all obvious shit. But Chris. <laughs> Is Papa Flurf to nobody? Nobody calls and Chris. That's how it's their always going to be. <laughs> that's how he's, it's going to be. <laughs> You're delusional. <laughs> even even like Kyle Adams has some, you know, Flurf children. <laughs> um, you know who else is is pathetic? That that well, Arwen. Okay, so I don't know if Arwen actually has any Flurf children. I, it's I impossible. Gotta... How does anyone possible? not have children? There's someone that follows everybody. Yeah. And even even I... Ron, you know, he's got some fanboys. Which Did is he? My, yeah, it's mind blowing. People tag me in his stuff. Like, explain this one, Globehead. <laughs> Why does that prove that we live in a bowl? Yeah. I gotta say though, man, the thought of Flurfs having children, actual children. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're talking figuratively, mm. please. Uh, you know, Arwen, has, Arwen has spoke. Arwen has spoken uh, about wanting children. Um, Tell and our children right now. Uh, yeah, he is forty-three. So, um, oh it, it's about time. <laughs> it's please, about time. please let that window shut quickly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Needs to figure yes. out what sexuality he is first. I think. Uh, I, I don't know about that, but um, he's he's a very he, he had a he had a um, a live stream about a couple of weeks ago where because he's unregular when he starts it and nobody was showing up. I mean, there was just I mean, I was watching, but there was maybe a couple others. Nobody was in chat, and he was starting to get really upset. Wow, because nobody nobody was there. He was starting to have a little crisis. So, Brenda, last Thursday you were on Jaren's, and yes. Jaren started on time, and apparently he never starts on time, and he was complaining that nobody was in the live chat. Yes, he was. Yes. Jaren, 150,000 subscribers. Uh, been doing it since, what, 2015? Been on a big show behind the curve and and uh when he starts his live stream he whines that people aren't there enough <laughs> but the problem is and nobody has any evidence or proof yep there is no yep. map there's no map there's no map <laughs> um, well, the all thing right. is that jaren has been putting everything behind a behind um a membership wall 
Yeah, he's been hiding. He's he's uh, avoiding scrutiny. Yeah, last time I saw him pop up, Simon Dan did a video on him. After that, I haven't seen him since. Yeah, well, it's been a while, hasn't it? I did a video on him on Simon Dan's channel and uh, on that show that last Thursday that, that Brenda was on. Yeah. Um, he said when somebody mentioned that other than you, Brenda, it, somebody else later brought up, why didn't you know, why didn't you watch the video? He said, oh, I don't watch videos. He He's just lying about me. How does he know that I'm lying? If he didn't watch he's the video, really upset right. about you, Mike. Uh, Mike, he, he's not happy that that you have. He says a bounty. He calls it a bounty. <laughs> it's a bounty for him. Yeah. So if you don't know, it's a bounty for him. So he he, when he did the ISS crossing, he put up the screenshot of the ISS tracker, and in the ISS tracker, he redacted some information, and and. Uh, I propose that the reason why he redacted the information is because you can use globe geometry to find out where he lives. And I'm right. And he redacted those things so that people couldn't find out where he lives. Now, in, in a video then, in a live stream, he mentioned that people could zero in using the ISS tracker and get those specific numbers to find out where he lives. But that's not what, he was talking, what I was talking about. I actually overestimated him. He he didn't think about geometry at all. He's unaware that that the geometry could pinpoint his location. He just thought that somebody could like hunt around and find the same number on the website just by poking around. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that was a, a fatal mistake. You you thought a flat earther new geometry <laughs> <laughs> really there's no way we can get any accurate diagram of what we live on <laughs> um, <I agree. laughs> all right let's see. Um, i'm gonna take off um mike i'm gonna take off all right thank you brenda enjoy the weather yep yeah, yeah. Um, but you should do these more i mean this is kind of fun yeah yeah, I think so. the the panel is fun. Yes, I I shall I shall I, every about about once a month I like to do them. So, all right. Um, yeah, we get the baby bottle ready so that way we need the baby ready for nap time. <laughs> Good job, Globy. That was Ron. <laughs> that was Ron. Oh my gosh, he's he's so useless. <laughs> All right, um, Mr. King Sleepy, uh, Mr. King Sleepy, first name Sofa, says CC should be put away, but I find him entertaining. Uh, I you don't know what a star is. You've seen little lights up in the sky. That's all they are. An imaginary fucking light show. That's it. <laughs> CC is crazy. I love it. Uh, all right, Mr. King Mr. King Sleepy, I added you. Um, extra J says, JM Truth lives nearby. It was, I was almost an extra Z in a zombie movie. Had I known then what I know now, oh, the stories I'd, if I'd done it. Extra J, that would be fantastic. If you could go back in time and do that. All right, Pat in the chat said he sent a DM on Discord. to oh hold on message requests there it is all right except dm here comes pat in the chat says i gotta vote for flatzoid i actually like the guy as erroneous as erroneously confident as he is he seems like a decent dude and yeah i will give you that he's not vile like his papa fleur nathan oakley is so i shall add you to the list bullshit in the chat <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing I do give flat sword from uh, the little bit of content I've seen. He just seems like a very confused individual more than anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there's a, so, all right. So, you know, people, Ron, 
is is in is absolutely nuts. We call him Dollar Store Jesus. I've done a couple <laughs> videos on him on on my uh, on my conspiracy tunes channel, and he <clears throat> he freaks out in his videos. And what was his 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 channel name was uh, Follow. Follow Yeshua to Yahweh. Yeshua to Yahweh and follow oh. Yeshua to Yahweh 2. And then somebody made follow Yeshua to Yahweh 3, but it's not him. It's just peep. It's just playing clips of him in response to things. And, and they're in context usually because it's, it's just him being an ass. So it's perfect. And that's what you're playing, isn't it, Globy? Oh, yeah. That's my soundboard. Yeah. Pizza? Pizza? This is natural <laughs> oregano. Can you even hear that? Yes. <laughs> a little bit. It's yeah, not quite that. loud enough, but yes. I know. So hey, I can't get my speakers up louder. Hey, Globy, you should, uh, I sent you one of the clips for on TikTok if you wanted to play a good one. He was freaking out about how there's 24 hours in the day, and he was putting quarters on the table, and he's like, see, look, six hours, you know, six hours of night time here, and then the rest is day. That's still 24 hours. So, yes, I know oh how to count gosh. to 24, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter how fast you're moving. You can make shadows all day long. We live on this happy-go-lucky spinning wet ball. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right. Uh, I asked Conspiracy Cats last year who he would nominate. He said Flatzoid. So I'm going to add Conspiracy or uh, Culture Cats. And I just sent a message to Wolfie. Um, but the, the Australian guys, so we need Ruhif, um, uh, where's Wally and I'm going to send him messages. Um, and, um, Hugh Jars, they got to come join. So I'm going to send them messages. So keep talking. They've probably got jobs. They've probably I'm got so jobs. All right, there's Hugh. Um, <laughs> I don't know what half of these are. But, well, I've, I've mentioned this to Mike before, but what gets me about these folks is they're they're so ready to show the world just how stupid they are. And that's how it's always going to be. <laughs> it it better myself. <laughs> really, I know. I mean, you know, I, I would. Geez, I don't embarrass easily, but I'd be far too embarrassed to display that level of just stupidity in the, to the world. I mean, it, it must be frustrating being wrong literally a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> the time I, I would walk around pissed off all day too. <laughs> I guess. God Almighty. Yeah, I ran into a uh, a flurf today on Facebook. Yeah, I know about Sorry. how to use a. I know how to be about how to use a sextant and navigation. So I gave him a, a, a sight reduction table. I don't talk math. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> he doesn't know. How. Yeah. Well, if he could still talk after you ran over him, you should have backed out over him again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all was, right. Uh... I want to read from uh, from Hugh. Hugh Jars says working, uh, it's the middle of the working day, um, but uh, he says Bev. He says Bev. Bullshit. Speaking of those sex and correction tables, uh, I was debating with Trey one night, and mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> he, he insisted that, that uh, atmospheric pressure increases with altitude. <laughs> And um, I, of course, asked him for his source and he pulled his source out and it was this paper. It was this uh, three page uh, manual. And I'm like, I've never seen it before. So I'm like, all right, give me a second. Let me just read through this real quick. It was the it was the refraction correction table for measuring elevation angles of celestial objects. It said nothing about pressure increasing or anything anywhere. 
he was using um, the t- he was just misreading the tables completely, as usual, and uh, claiming that they said something that they didn't say at all anywhere. You'll never see any of the stars move. <laughs> so, so he this was. Hold on, this hurts a bit much. Um, this was. <laughs> I, you've told me this before. Pressure. You asked about pressure increasing with elevation, and he gives you s- refraction because, tables for stars. Yeah, one of the charts at the top of the t- of the of the of the thing had pressure along the side of it, and I don't remember exactly what it was for. Wow. I think it was. Oh, it was because you. Yeah, you take your pressure readings where you are, um, and then oh, it gives yeah. you. It gives you a uh, a letter if you if you follow the chart. It gives you a letter a like A through G, and then you use that letter in the chart below to get your your correction factor. Yeah. It was a measurement of pressure you were taking, so it went up with the chart. Oh. It went from zero to like it got higher the tra- on the left axis, uh, and, and he was thinking that just meant pressure got higher as you went up, because he saw pressure go up, and up means up, so pressure increases. That's a tree for you. One time he well, got yeah, yeah. Yeah. confused yeah. on a on a graph. <laughs> oh my god. He's, oh. Hey, he's so confident. <clears throat> he's so confident. All right. Um Professor well, the worst part, Hart- the worst, the worst part is you said, I, I went through it all and then like he repeated it the next night, right? To oh someone else. Yeah, you know, he does all that shit. So sorry. How is that possible? <laughs> Uh, Professor Parks PhD says my vote is Brian's logic or lack thereof, and that is that is uh, another dual dual entry. Uh, the Brian's are together, Brian Leak, Brian Logic, uh, but that's only the second nomination for him. How so, is that possible? It's it's yeah, it's not looking good. CC's currently beating them. Well, Very I'm all alone. Yeah. Barry F says pressure increases with buoyancy. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Oh yeah, yeah. So pressure in millibars over here, right? It goes up. Um, but it's just a reading. You take your you measure your pressure. You measure your pressure, uh, and then you measure the temperature where you're at. Right? So say it's 20 degrees, right? And that leads you to D. And then you come down to D. And then you get your elevation angle corrections. Yeah. Based on, yeah. So, but he just looked at this pressure increasing here along the side and went, yep, pressure increases with altitude. Here's the pressure. Here's the proof. Even though nowhere here is it talking about altitude. Does that make no sense at all? <laughs> I mean, have, have these Yetzes never flown on an airplane and had their ears? He off? has. He always will post a picture of him in an airplane then. And he doesn't realize that his ears pop. Never mind. It doesn't matter. All that matters to him is is that he's a contrarian at the moment. So, yeah. You mean a railroad engineer who works at Congress? Science teachers. All right. The Som the Som Express who's referring back to Psalm and the rocks dangling on the your dingling to make them larger in Africa, says <laughs> <laughs> he brought that up last time, a couple You're, weeks ago. Oh, my God. He really did. He's like, oh, yeah, the Zulu hang rocks on their dinglings to make them bigger. <laughs> like, so you needed, to, you needed to do that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the lady doth protest too much, methinks. Anyway, uh, the Psalm really Express says dangling rocks did not work. <laughs> well, how is the gravitational pull able to? It's so fun making comp- compilation videos of CC because every it, there's so many times that he's just like, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. That's Fuck. clear. This light bend. <laughs> it's half of his videos. Isn't is it? there any mass? <laughs> How is that possible? Doesn't that prove that we live on a bowl? <laughs> uh, Hannibal True Silence for $10 says, Witsit's picture 
is in Webster's Dictionary when you look up Dunning-Kruger. Anyone who doesn't do math and claims he debunked relativity is the king. That's I'll hard to argue, yeah. That's a... my, my video last year that I made, the voting video I made for Witsit last year, was um, him saying that the Earth is sentient. <laughs> that was the first line. He actually said that he thinks the Earth is sentient. Sentient, I see. So, yeah, well, yeah, well, Derek talks to his water. Oh, I forgot about that. So take that tune. What do you mean? Wait. You got to explain. <laughs> he made an entire video. You have to talk to your water before you drink it. Oh, and you gosh. have to... You have to say nice things to it to give it positive energy. Uh -huh. oh. Okay. That nonsense. I, I had completely I, forgotten that. about that. I have a book. Oh, where is it? Water crystals. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys, I got some, <laughs> some dehydrated water for sale if you want. You know, you just add water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to see if I can find it. Hold on a second. Yeah, you got to talk while I'm uh, away here. <laughs> sure, why not? Dude, now. yeah, dude, I love that avatar of yours, man. That's just cool. I, I, I vote for that for top avatar, man. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it took me a while to get the uh, the mouth movement corrected, everything. Yeah. Um, and I'm still waiting for somebody to get back to me, but I did. I actually purchased the the figurine and did a 360 pan on it and he's going to make me a 3d model cool. oh, that's awesome I like, oh yeah i like the i like the blinking eyes man that's that's just really cool well it's too big <laughs> <laughs> hey i hear that a lot i, I can't what a kind of say <laughs> anyway yeah well, i ended up uh working with um dick dawson and i Pretty much set up the whole talking avatar sets for the uh for the shills i set up the avatars you know what it reminds it me work? of a lot i'm sorry go ahead how does it work does anything work Chris? science <laughs> well kind of, what, kind of what it reminds <laughs> me of a, i'm kind of big into uh into uh rgb displays for the holidays you know and they've got this one uh, effect that actually turns text or turns, sorry, turns speech into mouth movements of this, you know, of this uh, particular display. It's really kind of cool. That does what? sound cool. All right. I could not find the book. Instead, I'll just show that I completed. My Hitchhiker's Guide collection I was missing. Oh, cool. Mostly harmless. And then the new one, which wasn't written by the same author, by Douglas Adams, and did other things. So the six books of the trilogy is uh, complete. Yeah, Adams is a major loon, yeah. Uh, all right, so Small Time Art says, Psalm does not need to hang rocks. He's got a solid five inches. I finally figured out how to make mine eight. I just folded in half. Oh, that's an old one. Wow, that is so old. Yeah, that is so old. <laughs> that's awesome. What is I, that? I keep seeing people comment about that. What, what is, is there like a story behind this? What happened? About hanging rocks? <laughs> yeah. So, Gravity. yeah, it's Psalm a couple weeks ago when I debated him was talking about the Zulu. So Psalm lives in Africa mm -hmm. and in the southern part of it. So not too far from South Africa, which... Uh, which is where uh, Zulus are are at, and he was talking about Zulus, and they hang rocks on their dinglings to make them bigger. Oh, gravity, geez. yeah, gravity. And, and I'm like, and I'm like, yes, gravity. He's like, no, density. Anyway, um, Judy, you got this. Says, please ask Globe Man to show his dog better. We're all about the animals. Okay. So there you go. You could probably just leave, um, and then just show the dog. <laughs> All right, I can do that. I'll put him in the chat. That'll make. Yeah. Barry F wants me to define dingling. 
Sorry, it's serious. When I was an undergraduate, here he is. We we did a show. I was I was in <laughs> the theater, and we did. He's we freaking did a show. out. He doesn't want to be here. <laughs> nice puppy. <laughs> this is Scout, though. We did a show, and and in the show there was a a, a bit of the thing talking about the the male member, and they use a number of euphemisms. And so um, I had nothing to do with it, but all the girls in the show decided to ha- bring up a collection of all the euphemisms for the <clears throat> male object, and they came up with 117 of them. Wow. <laughs> like, Interesting. Yeah, I know. Wow. And, and all of that, we excluded a number of the common ones, uh, like Dick, you know, and so forth, because we excluded, you know, personal names you know so dick was excluded and so it was you know but uh yeah 117 i was like wow that's impressive <laughs> gary's back in the chat and, and it just struck me it's one of those you know what would be the ultimate fun debate dave mckeegan versus gary debating Rayleigh criterion it'd be the <laughs> shortest <laughs> debate ever gary <laughs> Gary, what's really criterion? Oh, that's where this stuff happens? No. <laughs> if you take a flashlight. So, yeah, well, this guy was telling me about Cations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, horizons are simple optical limits because of the acute visual angles to the surface, which compresses slash foreshortens visual information at the surface, which will look like a hori- horizontal line across your field of view. <laughs> Nope, Word that's not how. It. That's not how it works. Uh-huh. It, it that that's meaningless. That's called gibberish. Yeah. That's... Now, now he's yeah. just going off in the comments. He's just uh, reciting the flirt handbook. Yeah, he does his you know, copy speak- paste. It's yeah. speaking of gibberish. I, yeah, speaking of gibberish. I, listening to some tonight, you know, I, I wonder. I mean, obviously, he's clueless about a lot of things, but there is a pretty significant, uh, I think, real language barrier. And so I wonder how much of it is just him not able to get his point across and how much of it is utter stupidity. Um, it's, I mean, some of, it's 80% both. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> that adds up to 165%, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. You did a little flurf math there, didn't you? Terrible math. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm 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 embarrassed. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, I'm a flat earth, earth, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. We do. <laughs> he said, "Uh, I'll come on right now." He wants to make a case why he deserves the top nomination right now. <laughs> uh, are you, Gary? Are you are you here to nominate yourself? That's the only thing you could come on to do, Gary. I want you to know. It, you can nominate someone for top left, including yourself, but that's the topic. So I, I will, I'll put it in the chat and Gary, I, I'm not going to just warn you. That's the topic. If you go off topic, then it, it ends. And that's how it's always going to be. Yes. <laughs> oh no. The challenge is out there. There it is. A self nomination. Someone said, yeah, that's a, wasn't expecting this. This is a treat. <laughs> well, instead, he's going to comment more. Probably. Flat Earther. I just did. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, I'm an idiot. I'm an engineer. So, you know, you're guaranteed an idiot if you're an engineer. But these guys are another level. <laughs> but right. the problem is, why would you? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got somebody named Flat Earth Debater in here. I don't know if that's Gary or if it's somebody else. I have high hopes. Ooh, got got video coming up. Oh, hey, it's B Dazzle. What's up? What's up, man? Welcome. I was trying to change my name before I got on. He tricked us all. People, B Dazzle is on TikTok. He, I love his his songs, his music. He he has uh, some very catchy ones. I'm an, intending to use a couple of them in some upcoming videos. So. Uh, you got got a got a light of flurf. <laughs> Am I right? right? An yeah. absolute yeah. classic, yeah. right there. Classic. Yeah, really, right. got a lot of flurf. Uh, one of the latest, best around. Latest, nuh-uh, nuh-uh. It's a really good one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Bullshit. 
<laughs> All, right. All right, Gary, you can come. You, Gary, you can come in, but but we got to get the uh, the nomination from uh, B Dazzle first. So, all right, B Dazzle, who are you nominating for Top Left twenty twenty three? Uh, Ron. Ron, hey. a worthy contender, but I don't think he's going to get enough nominations to to participate. Don't worry though, you can still stick in the TikTok realm, TikTok verse. With the the power couple that is Derek and Caleb, but I'll that's I'll a, put you down for Ron. I need to get the baby bought already, so that way we need the baby ready for that, John. <laughs> Pizza. And sometimes I think you have too much fun, you know. I do. This is great. All right, so. We've got now. I I I made it clear, Gary. Gary's here. You you you're welcome to come here. This is a nomination stream for top left, so you are free to nominate anyone you want, I including give a, I, yourself. I, so uh, uh, bring bring forth the nomination, Gary. <laughs> I'll game. nominate uh, FTFE for uh, believing he can see his, he can't see his hand when it's in front of his face. So I nominate him for top left. Uh, all right. Rejected. But I appreciate the nomination. Because <laughs> remember, if you, you might have missed it, look at the, I pinned the comment um, that has the link to the top left 2023 rules. And, and let me just read, read the rule. The important one, please be aware that cheating and bribery is allowed and encouraged the officiants will turn a blind eye to anything they feel they want to ignore. Officiants also reserve the right to change rules, invent rules, break rules, ignore rules, or do whatever they want as it suits them. This is a joke. Take it seriously at your own peril. Can I nominate PhD Tony? Uh, you could. You could. You are. You only get one nomination. Oh well, I was just wondering if there was a category for mad scientist. Uh, Ooh, what about the shadows? I would say that the, the there is no category for mad scientist, but definitely Lindsay. Oh, well, he Harris would win. Would get that. I no, no, Lindsay no, no. Harris. PhD Tony would win that hands down. Wouldn't even be a contest. People so would does, buy that. So does ass kissing help? Does what? Does ass kissing help if we kiss your ass really good? Uh, you can try. I, uh, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I don't Pretty know. Pretty please. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. Thank you, Gary, for the, uh, the nominations. Does that uh, make no sense at all? I agree. All right, let me see. I'm going to check my email. No more in emails. Um, I did post a link there. Uh, if anybody is interested in coming in to share their nomination, let me check my Discord. I only joined because I wanted to debate about uh, the Rave A Criterion with uh, the dingle brain that was on your panel. But I'll You're come back idiot. another time. This is but, all obvious but shit. But Gary, don't talk Rayleigh Criterion if you can't do the math. But uh, yeah, prepare yourself. Prepare the math. No, but it has, it has a concept. It has a concept and everybody can understand it without any math. Right now. So. <laughs> uh, oh, Kenny says this YouTube show is 100 times better than the State of the Union. Interesting. It is. <laughs> Even a, though you're dumb. There's a state of the union going. Wow. Let's see. How, how many am I beating? Am I getting more people watching? Uh 310 versus uh how many? All right. Chris. I have high hopes. CC from Westchester County. I'm a flat earther, by the way. <laughs> Thousands of years ago. How how long, ha Chris, how long have you been flurfing around? How, Thousands how, of years ago. <laughs> how old is Chris's <laughs> oldest flurfy video? Anyway. I'm going to look quick. Uh, Blue Dragon, has anyone nominated Howard George Sterp? No, nobody has. <laughs> um, but unless he gets, you know, a good handful of nominations, it probably won't go too far. Uh, all right, I'm going to I'm going to look I'm going to look at Chris. Let's see. CC. It's hard to find his channel. 
Sorry. Oh. <laughs> because his, his channel name is just CC. So, all right. Um, oh my gosh. His most recent video says the most expensive balloon in the world. And it's a picture of the space shuttle. He actually thinks the space shuttle is a balloon. Uh, Where is it? Oh my well, gosh, Chris, that's incredibly dumb. David Weiss told him to say that. You know. The fake moon that supposedly is reflecting the sunlight. Wait, what was it not Weiss who also said that uh, NASA was faking rocket launches by putting projectors in people's front lawns? Yeah, there's projectors, you, he says. But <laughs> you can... Well, no, not quite. Yeah, right. He said he went to NASA's lawn and found the projectors. And they took the serial you, numbers. They took the serial numbers off those projectors and tracked them back to a projector, com a hologra hologram company. Oh. Did he share the pictures or serial numbers or brand? Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find any evidence of that. <laughs> Thank you, NASA. Exactly. But to prove his point, he showed a picture, a video of a Russian rocket launch behind him. <laughs> while claiming NASA was faking theirs with the holograms. Well, I mean, he, he truly is an intellectual powerhouse. Mm. Y you can feel the heat on your face. Yeah, that's a hologram. <laughs> when, when you go there, you can actually feel the heat on your face. You feel and nobody has any evidence or proof. In your chest, you feel the, um, the sonic booms as the... the um, on the return to launch pad for the uh, Falcon 9. It's even flat in the sky. All right. <laughs> I'm back to five years ago for CC. Who right. has this the is height? natural oregano. All right. I found it. His what? first one. His first one is... I can't handle Glowman's background, by the way. It's triggering me. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> so, that's that's Ron, if you don't know. Uh, let's see. February 16 of 2017. So it's going to be a six-year anniversary here this month. You got to make him a special video or something. That's six amazing. Months. Who has well, the most nominations so far? The most nominations is uh, Flatsoid. Flatsoid. Um, Renee Enemy is wondering, has Jin CBR1 been nominated? He has. Renee, if you'd like to put your throw your hat behind Jin CBR1, you'll join Polly and Brenda. Uh, I'll do that. I'll do that right now for you, Renee Enemy. Oh, religion of science. That's your religion of science. Religion of science. <laughs> Jeez. Peppers. Peppers. When, when he when he 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 puts the coin on the table and he has the camera below the edge of the table. Oh, yeah. He's like, that's bottom up obstruction. <laughs> he didn't even set up the camera on a tripod or anything. He's holding it and it's like shaking around the whole time too. It's just below the edge. Oh, I love it. Um, Ian Dust says, CC Chris is so melodramatic. It always feels like he's about to break out into some mournful elegy about how bad the globe is or something. You've seen pictures that NASA has produced in books for you. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> if this is reflecting the sunlight, isn't there some sort of beneficial energy that it's bouncing off to us when it comes to growing vegetables? <laughs> Dill, <laughs> chives, thyme, fennel. Oh my gosh, he's... Don't grow. How can he be so so consistently dumb? Um, this is natural <laughs> oregano. <laughs> this are real Strawberry quotes plants. from a real person. That's the thing I can't put two and two together with. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know. Oh my god. The, the, the guy behind you there is the 
<laughs> he's the one that is like buoyancy is an upthrust. It's an up <laughs> you need to prove. You need to prove. Oh, that sounds like Witsit. Or the um oh no, he's all about prove, prove, prove. And Globe, remember when you're, when you're on last time and we were talking about him and, and he was talking about units on his um was it pressure? He was oh, that the units was, uh, that was uh that was me. I had a whole conversation with him about uh he was trying to replace gravity with pressure, saying just yes. air pressure holds you down. Just air pressure holds you down. <laughs> And I was trying desperately. I made like eight video replies to him, just trying to get him to write out the units of someone's weight yeah. using air pressure. And it was, uh, you know, pounds per square, pounds, kilograms per square inch. <laughs> made up his whole <laughs> own unit. <laughs> but, but no, it got better. Because he's like, ha ha, joke's on you. I wasn't using those units. I was using dollars. There is no mass. <laughs> yeah. And something that has no mass. He actually, he actually just tried to just. <laughs> nope, I was using dollars. Like <laughs> you don't get to just pick the units; they they have to be right. He doesn't get that. This whole math manipulation story about this little, um, what was it like a um. Some type of an equation or a formula where he had to, he was like giving money to somebody and then at the end of it, he's missing some money. He's like, hey, I can manipulate math. Oh, it's yeah, I remember what you're talking about. He's talking about like, uh, you, you know, like when someone goes into a gas station and they're like, hey, can you break this 20? And then they give him a 10. And then it's basically like shortchanging. They, they get yeah, you're playing games. Yeah, they get more money back. It, it's not a math problem. It's a thought. It's like a, a thought experiment. It's that riddle. It's that riddle. Three three people go to the restaurant and they buy, you know, it's a $30 bill and they each give a 10. But then there's like change involved and like somehow there's a missing dollar. But it's just all about the tip. Like it's it's not math. It's just a fucking word problem. So it's, it's a riddle. All right. Remember, math is a language, so you can use it to deceive people. <laughs> the the next thing is always give me an example. Let's go through it, and then if they do that kind of thing, there is an answer to it. They're just misunderstanding it. Two plus two and one plus three and one plus one plus one plus one. Yeah. So it's like. All right. Let me say uh, we got Mister King Sleepy. First name Sofa says I vote also. For the guy that used Cations, that would be Trey Hutchinson. I've added you to the list. You got two, you got you got two nominations. You're the only one so far. Uh, exposing Ma's tricks. Who is Ryan Casey? Who who is a flat earther with a little bit of a messiah complex? That lives in uh, Washington. There, S Seattle area says um, DK equals forty two. You fish. So DK being Dunning Kruger, but we're calling it top left. What's top left? What's your invented numerology math for top left? Um, six, and then, six, six. How are you determining what the left is? How do you prove that's the left? <laughs> Gravity. <laughs> Timbo Turtle says, "Can I have a vote for Sam, please? He is so left. He hasn't started up Mount Stupid." All right, I'll, here sorry. comes the second for for some. Some nominated himself, and now Tim sure. Turtle has seconded it. Sorry. There you go, Timbo Turtle. Uh, all right. Well, I was hoping I was hoping Julian or Baron would be able to join, but I know they're busy, so. Anybody else from TikTok that uh, that we're missing? Yeah, there's one other guy. Who? You tease. You tease. Who's the? <laughs> Who's the other guy we're missing? Ron. <laughs> no, not to no to join the panel to get to nominate. I know. I want Ron on this panel. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Send him a message. Send him the link. <laughs> so good. That'd be so good. 
endless entertainment. You know, I'm not going to lie. If Ron showed up on the panel, I think uh, I think we might have an overwhelming amount of people changing votes. They, they would get firsthand experience with Ron. With Ron. Uh... <laughs> Did you send him? Colby, come on. Did you send oh, it yeah, to I him? Agree. You actually want me to send it to him? Yes, yeah, send it to him. <laughs> <All right. laughs> there's zero chance he comes here. He's going to see there's so many people on this panel that are against him. And he's going to be like, no way. <laughs> you can t- change your name and turn off your camera. There you go. <laughs> he no, 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 no. Yeah, he didn't know me. I'll, I'll just make my name Johnny Truth. It's another flat earther. He likes to go into his echo chamber and just talk about how right he is. <laughs> oh, they they love to do that with with no empirical evidence. Hey, hey Globe, I can I invite Vindicator if you want. Oh gosh, we we should get a is that independent research guy? <laughs> Who's this? That's the one. Who oh, was the one that wanted to unalive to, me. Yeah, give you <laughs> to unalive you. Yeah, yeah not awesome. just me. Also, Globy and another person who was unalive. That level guy is kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, gosh, John. The level guy? Yeah, he, his picture, uh, it's it says level earth for his picture. His name is John. Uh, he, uh, he, he went on Baron's live and was saying he's not a surveyor and was trying to call him out on a bunch of stuff. And then Baron was like, where in my math am I wrong? And he couldn't explain. He just kept yelling at him about how he's a liar. They, they can. Well, it was um, the people watching. He asked me how I did something. I walked through it and he kept trying to make me stop explaining it to him after he asked me to explain it to him. And I got to the end. I said, all right, well, what do you think? He said, it's wrong. I said, well, where was my error? I don't know, but it's wrong. That's it. That's all. Nobody has any evidence or proof. (laughs) That's his go to, though. -uh, I'm right. You're wrong. And then if you try to correct him, then uh, he just cuts you off and continues to tell you that you're wrong. (laughs) It's even flat in the sky. <laughs> uh, See how level it is. Here, I'll I love the background. People are people don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> he he's. I, I think Ron is truly um, quite unwell mentally. Maybe uh, I, I've stopped interacting with him for the most part. It's a uh, some well, he mental stopped, exercise. He stopped making videos after his accounts got banned right he still has a new account but he's just not making videos right yeah he just he posts makes, memes that's he it. makes memes yeah yeah does he make them or just post other people's i would i feel like he probably just posts other people's i've never bothered to check but i i yeah. don't imagine ron being the creative type he's not put much effort in no he never did uh dan l is, is wondering how can i vote well dan l you feel free to join the panel right now or if, if you want, you could just nominate who you want. But these are just nominations after tonight. We'll tally them and we will we'll, we'll pick and co- the, the best or the, the ones that got the most of a certain range. And then uh, about March 1st, the voting videos will go live. And the voting videos will be your chance to actually vote. And uh, whoever gets the most votes by either watching them, giving them a thumbs up. Those are the two ways to, to vote. Um, you will uh, then we'll get the ultimate champion of flat top left 2023. We do I'm have Gary, earther, by the way, <laughs> yeah, both Chris and Gary in the panel who are both nominees. So that's the speculation, yeah, yet to be speculated. Come on now, flat earther. <laughs> did, 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 uh, did Ron answer? No. I sent it to him. He didn't didn't answer yet. So Gary Wybenga has been nominated by Gary Wenbenga and Tommy Gronvold. (laughs) There it is. I got the the correct character there. Um, All right. Well, that might be it. If... if, um, Where's A? Is Drano still around? <laughs> yeah. Sure. He's he hasn't, he hasn't uh, challenged anyone to a boxing match recently, so that's oh that's God. good. 
All right. Well, um, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. We've, we've uh, gone through. We've, I've uh, gotten all the uh, nominations accounted for that I have received. It's your chance if you want any more nominees. Uh, let me know in the chat. Otherwise, oh, let's see. I got... Oh, where's Wally? Where's Wally? Hold on. Let's see. Where's Wally says... Uh-oh. He says, man, I have a fun idea for you to try. Try this. Jump to anywhere in the video and listen and time how long before you hear some derp. I was averaging around 10 seconds. Not a bad derp factor. All right. We'll do that. Then we're going to... Then we'll... But this will be good. Because you guys are gonna love this. This is this is uh this is gonna be some quality quality derp. Um so if you're if you wanna see, you don't need to see though. Um you'll have to you'll have to watch the, the stream, but it'll be out of sync. Alright. So here it is. This is flatzoid. And and the challenge is to to time how long it takes before you hear some derp. Right, so, all right, it's muted. I will unmute at 39 minutes and 30 seconds. The reason we say it's rubbish is because they can literally just put you onto a simulator. Like I'm explaining, the windows aren't real. It's just TV screens or whatever. They put all right. This is all obvious Go shit. Going to space. <laughs> He thinks what? they're just in a simulator. The no. windows are screens? This The windows are screens, and it's a That's simulator. Fair. I don't know how you simulate, like, like the, uh, this is space cadets. They were fooled, right? So this, he thinks that the people that went to space were actually fooled that they didn't go to space, and they got in the rockets, and the people, <laughs> he thinks the people at NASA were tricking them. Like that, that's, that's, always, that's always been a joke. Like, like right. mocking flat. Like, hey, hey, if we could send a flat Earth through space, and they'll just tell you the windows are screen or TVs. Oh my and gosh! Somebody actually said it. He just did. I, I can't believe that. All right, I might change my vote. All right, let's. I can't see the stars <laughs> in space anyway. Yeah, let's, let's do some more. To get to promote a lie. It's ridiculous amount. It's ridiculous amount. He's talking yeah. to somebody. Exactly. Like they, they would rather spend they would rather spend sixteen million dollars to convince you of a lie rather than give you a couple pictures and be like, Yeah, you're right. There you go. Thank you, NASA. <laughs> like they've never looked at they've never looked at the pictures. They just say they just automatically say it's fake. That's it. Um Gary, are you still here? Because uh, Professor Phil Bell said, I'm still waiting for Gary so we can have our little chat. Would you please remind him you can give him my email address? So, Gary, uh, how about you and Phil Bell? Can I propose a date here? Um, the 28th of February? Um, be... I'll let him know when I'm ready. I got to make a couple more videos, two more little short videos so I can use them. I already know what I'm going to do. So, all right. When I do, do you, it, then I, I'll do it. Do you uh, do you want his email address? Uh, no, I got. I can DM him. Okay. I mean, you're, yeah, you're both. He on sent one Discord. to me. I just haven't answered it yet. All right. Yeah, on Discord. Well, let him know he's he's anxiously waiting. To oh hear, yeah, to hear from you. I'm excited about it. Uh, all right, Globy. <laughs> you're not. You're not going to mute. You're not going to mute me like Red's rhetoric did. Tell you what, we'll we'll have a structured debate, uh, so there's a format. How about that? <laughs> well, we'll we'll determine how it goes, or what we want to do, or what I want to do. Well, maybe maybe you could get his input too. Yes, but I there you go. ultimately, if you guys want me on there, so it helps your show. You need you need people on your show. Yep, <laughs> so, I mean we, we can chuckle all night about without anybody else coming on, of course. So um, yeah, that's fine. Matt is Batox is, like, what do you call a, that? What do you call that? Circle jerking? Yeah. Okay. You know it, baby. <laughs> Get that tinfoil hat on. Oh, Matt yeah. Patox says, has a flurp ever said, why can't I see a new moon? Yeah. 
I, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, the, the moon. The moon seems to confuse them. The moon. The, it's amazing how confused they are about the moon. <clears throat> like they you literally can't land on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> that their evidence for it being plasma. They're like it's plasma, and their evidence for it being plasma is a video of somebody else saying it's plasma. Yeah, the sun from and the nine, moon are not real objects. The That's sun and the moon both evidence. move from east to west. My my favorite thing is uh just when they say that they, they first start off by saying it's plasma and then they continue on later and say it's not a physical object. So plasma's a physical object. I don't yeah. say that. I'm not saying you, I I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Well, it's nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> so Globeman Gary Wybenga is is a flat earther. Uh, who he's all about the angles flat earth well, everything we see is angles but uh but ha can't do any trig including zero <laughs> <laughs> no but the little i the little i know about it is you can't actually uh, do use trigonometry to measure the distance to like polaris unless you can actually see the base to measure too and know the distance to the base. Otherwise, you have to be perspective in the measurements. That's why you don't get the right elevation no. measurements that you think we should get on a flat earth. No, that's not right wrong. at all. There it is. You still no, believe the view in compresses as you move away. You no. still no. believe in polarity. According to trigonometry, you can predict it all with trigonometry. Absolutely. All. No, not unless you can actually see the object and measure its base to its top. Gary. Gary. And know the distance to the base. You can't Gary. see what about the, the shadows? GP of Polaris. Gary. <laughs> Gary. Yes, I know. You know what? You're going to tell me I'm wrong. No, well, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. How many people will buy that? How many years? Hold on, Chris. Of, how many years of mathematics in college does have it, you studied? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. No, unless you know the distance to the base and can actually measure the angle to the from the base because you can see it no, and no, to the top. No. You're going to have to make some kind of an adjustment. Some kind right? of an adjustment? Of course, your, your adjustments would be curvature. No. Yeah. It's not how it's <laughs> Radius done. Radius of the Earth, you use all that in your measurements. No, it's, no, it's not how it's done. Yes, you have to. Uh, no, it's not. Well, it's Go, too okay. big. You're talking to a physicist, okay? Oh, gee, that makes you the god. <laughs> no, it doesn't mean me god, but it means I know how to measure the distance to Polaris. Okay, tell, tell us all how you measure the distance. The equations. You simply take a you, your baseline. You just make, keep it is, keep it simple. Well, What's the baseline? Our, the baseline is take two points in the year. Doesn't matter what two points, but a good one to see would be the uh, summer solstice and the winter solstice. Take those two points in the year, and you can measure the distance between those two points. It has nothing to do with the radius of the Earth. And once you've done that, you can measure the angular, just the angular, uh, the parallax, the, yeah, the parallax between the two. And then simple using a simple trigonometry, you can then determine the angle or actually you would determine the, uh, tangent of the angle. And then you take the arc tangent of the angle and that gives you the angle. Uh, and so can you just measure, can like, you just measure the angle to your horizon? No, so it's not involved in that. No. No, it has nothing to do with the horizon. Well, when you take elevation angles for uh, uh, for like traveling across the ocean or whatever, you're measuring so, the horizon, right? That's a different topic. Why are you changing yeah. topics? Yeah. No, that's actually what I was kind of talking about. You were talking about you measuring the distance angles. to Polaris. The distance well, yeah, to Polaris you is not celestial navigation. Angles. No. Because you have to take elevation angles. And no, you guys always no, say the no. elevation angles don't match what a flat Earth should expect. Because you well, don't account for field of view compressing as you move away. No. With perspective issue. No. no. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's yeah. Simply oh, well, wrong. What's, what's the what's the empirical evidence supporting the the methodology for what you're talking about there? How, how does how was that done? Well, when uh, you I'm measure, we, okay, if you if you have a sextant, what are you measuring the angle to? Your horizon, right? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. It's that's, a perspective that's issue. Based, well, that's well, it. That's, that's your field of view. So you're measuring That's... the angle to Polaris over your horizon, right? No, 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 no. Yes. You're no, talking yes. About different, no, you're talking about two different things. Okay. I mean, we're talking about how you travel now. Well, okay. That's Toon's 
bailiwick. Uh, Toon is, is, loves a lot more about celestial navigation than I do. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it. I'll talk about it with Phil when I get on with Phil. Did I, you I have, a, did you have a response to his uh, parallax, his, his distance measurement to Polaris? Well, I'm going to, I'm just going to say Polaris is about 4,000 miles straight up. It's, you guys hijacked it and called it radius of the earth down to the center when really it's the uh, distance to the star. That's my opinion. So Your the delusion. My question no, it doesn't is, work. Yeah. It just doesn't yes. work. And the sun, and the sun will be likewise. No. <laughs> and the sun will be likewise. No, it yeah. simply doesn't work. You see, you wind up if you, if you try, well, you cannot try it. You can do it. You can simply measure the azimuth of Polaris, the sun, whatever you want, okay? And that angle, that measurement angle, okay, is dependent upon your latitude. Now, that's true whether it's a flat Earth or a round Earth. There you go, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's from your from your position. It's just a it's just an elevation angle to your horizon. That's the has, angle, has, right? No and then you adjust it to sea no. level because no. all the travel latitudes are based no. on a sea level measurement, right? No. How no. you would measure it at sea level? Nope. No. Yeah, no. you have to adjust it for that because that's no. how all those uh, latitudes. That, that's are not wrong. the only way to do it. You you can be by your angle measurement, your angle Gary. measurement to Gary. your horizon. Will Gary. match your listen, Gary. Latitude. Gary, just listen. And it's perspective because it's based on your field of view. Gary, listen. My phone. I measured the angle to stars using my phone. No horizon. Yes. Just the angle. And all you on what you actually want is the angle from zenith. When you use well, you can do sextant, it that way too. You still get you, the same thing. You use a sextant. <laughs> hold, when you use a sextant at the ocean, you do it because because you're on a moving uh, platform, so you can't you can't use something like this because it'll rock around. So they designed the sextant so that the the horizon. You can stand on the beach, right, and measure it out there. Yeah, with uh, the Gary, I was I was in the middle of a sentence. So the okay. moving the, the horizon moves up and down. You can spot it through the. When sextant, you're standing on even the beach, it moves moving. up and down. On a ship, that's why they designed a sextant like that. But if if they didn't ever need to use a sextant on a ship, they would have just used a a theodolite type device. If they could always just say, stand on the ground, you can use a theodolite to measure the angle. You don't need the horizon. You start at zenith. Zenith is zero. Do you know why? Your, your phone can do the exact same thing. It doesn't use the horizon at all. It starts at zero, straight up as zero. So I measured the distance, or so the not the distance, the angle to three stars with my phone, this phone, this actual phone, and got my position to to uh, uh, three miles. So no horizon yeah, was involved. Okay, like okay, let's go to a bubble sextant. A bubble sextant. Why does it work no matter what elevation? It's the exact same as this. It doesn't matter. And you do you know why horizon. it does that though? Because it's giving you the angle from zenith. No, because it's taken. No, no, no. That's it's, what it's, taking the, you. it's taking your horizon, your baseline, up with there's, it. That's why the angles will always no remain the same. In a bubble section. I know. Well, yeah, it does establish that your measurement to the base goes to the uh, no, it, the bubble, it, right? It's actually giving you a, a measurement from zenith. Yeah, but it go, but the to a horizontal for your phone. And, a bubble the horizontal sextant doesn't do anything with section. horizontal. The horizontal base. It, no, it does because you have to hold your uh, right. sextant horizontal to get the bubble in the middle. That's enough. Which Gary. you're measuring to. That's enough lies. <laughs> well, you are. That's enough lies, Gary. That's why you have to have a flat baseline to begin with. And the original, the original statement concerned the distance. To yeah, he started. Polaris. He started with distance. Um, all right. Yeah. All right, I kicked him. I, it's enough lies, Gary. You just you just a, a, a constant liar. Um, I don't know. It's not uh, for some reason. It's not picking up the the Zoom group here. That that seemed uh, like the typical thing where flat earthers think the horizontal with a sextant is the horizon, but they're two different things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Gary, I kicked you because you were just serial lying. Let me make it clear. Let me just, just wrap this up. Um, uh, a bubble sextant is a sextant that they used in planes, and the bubble is is establishing is, is from plumb. Plumb is vertical, not horizontal. Uh, so same thing on your phone. 
your phone has an angle measurement device. It has a three-dimensional accelerometer, three-axis accelerometer. And the only thing your phone knows is plumb. That's all it can do. So all three axes are only able to measure from plumb. So the horizon is not involved at all, Gary. So you're just lying. I don't appreciate lies. Uh, and this this wasn't this wasn't your time to come on and make it a make a fool of yourself. So I kicked you out. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Mike. I I probably shouldn't have engaged him. Yeah. Anyway, and and That's Gary, you first started by asking about the distance to Polaris. And that's why we started talking about parallax is that's one of the ways that you can measure the distance to a star. Um, and Polaris is, well, let me see here. What's the distance here? Can I nominate Gary? <laughs> 300, <laughs> between 323, 343, so 333. Sorry. Start again. 323 to 433 light years away based on parallax you don't like it i don't care show where the errors are right no uh isn't a refutation ever yeah so. he was going with the old you need to be able to touch it to measure it you have to see you it he said right yeah yeah that, that's uh no, you know I'm surprisingly not... enough it was actually your sextant challenge that uh made me want to learn how to use a sextant because I didn't realize how many flat earthers didn't understand. So I literally, I went into a, like, just because I happened to be there, the ninth edition of uh, the Encyclopedia Britannica, just because I was doing a video on it. And I went through and I was like, wonder if they have anything on sextants. And just from that, and then like two modern sextant users manuals, I was able to figure it out. It's not hard. It was maybe 30 minutes of reading. Yeah. Yeah, You're I've right. never used yeah. a sextant. My, my brother... Nice. Did but I never used a sextant. I, I was yeah. yeah I mean, you can get certified in a weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the book. It 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 includes math, but because um because it's meant to be done on a ship, and it's meant to be done quickly, that there's a bunch of shortcuts that have already been calculated in for you. Yeah. So you have like these these lookup tables to do mm -hmm. things. They didn't, of course, used to have um, calculators. And a slide rule on a ship isn't very convenient. No. <laughs> so they actually had lookup tables for logarithms, sine and cosine. Right. And and the instructions are just step by step. Here you do this, do this, do this, and then you use the site reduction tables, which uses the Haversine formula, which uses the radius of the Earth in it to get the distance between the GP of the star and your position and so uh, on this diagram here the gp of the star is the point on the surface of the earth that is um perpendicular to where the the, the star comes down right so it's d directly underneath the star is the, the star, gp yeah and so you can see here in this picture here your your line of sight to the horizon there isn't to the the gp of the star they're not the same thing and they think it's to the gp of the star on the globe because a couple diagrams that were poorly made showed them that therefore that's gospel how it's done they're <laughs> just not smart enough so you need in the reason why you have this here right you have this angle to the horizon gets subtracted it's not much usually it's just a couple arc minutes even if you're kind of at a good elevation on a ship right you, you you can't be on a ship for very tall it's a oh. ship. Anyway. Because it's just a... I, what, for like the top end of it, you have your refraction correction, right? Because yeah. the star, you know, the line of sight is obviously bent. And then the bottom, you have that dip correction where you bring it up to horizontal. Yeah, and there's there's a refraction correction on the dip as well. But again, both the, the, both the dip correction and the refraction correction are not very large. Right. But to if you're, if you're on... Say you're on a, a big... Uh, freight ship right that's where you're you're actually a large number of meters above the water then yeah you're you, it can be enough that it can reduce your accuracy by a couple miles so i i spent a lot of time on a ship i've never never used a sex but i spent a lot of time on a ship and i can't even imagine trying to use a sextant but the thing is flat earthers it's been a year. 
A year ago, yeah. I issued my yeah. Flat Earth Sextant Challenge. Yeah. And you don't need to use a sextant. All you need to do is show the math because I math already it, yeah. did. Not the math, just the process. Whatever the process is, because the Flat Earthers claim yeah. that sextants work, but they don't. Right, but if they did, then just go ahead, show the process. And yeah. so I, I have, oh, let me show you. All you need to do, if anybody ever claims that, that a sextant works on flat earth, then you just show them, here's the, here's the measurements. I right can show how it works on globe earth. Do oh, I win oh, it? Hold on. <laughs> Stop interrupting. So right. just show them this. Just, it's, I like to screenshot this. Say, all right, there's measurements taken with a sextant. What's the position? If a sextant works on flat earth, then you'd be able to do it. There it is. All right. Well, the real reason, while we're, while we're talking about challenges. On, the real I, reason why I was giving away the Loki sextant. First. Go ahead, Loki. Yep. The real reason why I was giving away the sextant was hopefully that they would actually take it from me and just get lost at sea, and then we wouldn't have any more floors. <laughs> That's an amazing yeah, plan. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> I like the plan. Yeah, I don't think it'll work, though. All right, Globus. Just, just endless flurfs sailing off the edge. Yeah, really. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, speaking of challenges, uh, I put up a challenge uh, for flat earthers to prove flat earth to me. Uh, I don't know if you, any of you saw it or you saw it too. Um, the pot is up to 16 Bitcoin. Wow. Um, somebody's house, 20K in cash, an unborn child, um, <laughs> a person's two, two kids. And um, uh, all you have to do is uh, submit your flat earth proof to me. And that's it. Proof flat earth to me. You and can find that these sounds a, on my page. That sounds an awful lot like Dirt's challenge. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> rules can be found nowhere. All you have to do is subscribe to my uh, app. Yep. And pay you. Pay a monthly fee. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. We've got Gary Wenbanga says, Gary, please stop embarrassing the family again. <laughs> uh, exposing Moz Tricks says, share the crisscross with these guys. Crisscross? Get, that's, that's Ryan Casey. He's... He's not quite sane. Mm. So anyway, okay. all right. I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna hop off. Uh before we get off, yeah. what's the format for these videos? Is there a format or just whatever? Um whatever. So we yeah, whatever. one video, uh you guys uh can all pool together your uh your skills. Uh yeah. let me read it off. You got um who else? You got Flat Earth is nonsense, cannibal lecture, which I think is him. Globe Man and Globe and McGlobe Face. So, yeah, make make a great video that, that's... Oh, yeah, it just has to feature the the derp that, that will make somebody say, you know what, I want to come back every day for 30 days and watch that again because it's so delicious. <laughs> Find out where the uh, edge is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, make an account that they haven't blocked me on already. Go, uh, go compile some stuff. But I'll, I'll have it on... I'll, so send it to me, and then I will. Um, I'll have it on mine. FDFE will have it on his. Cool. And I'll post it on my TikTok. But you guys are welcome to 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 put it elsewhere. Um, but the votes on just on those three places will count for the actual competition. So we've got right. one more interrupting cow is asking to come in. Um, <laughs> it sounds like a joke. We shall see. It. it <laughs> It might be Gary <laughs> Wendenga. Interrupting cow. <laughs> knock, hey guys, knock. I want to drop out. All right, be dazzle. Hey. Have a good night. See ya. Have a good one. Later. Uh, Later. Hey, Globeman. Globeman. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh man, with, you got me. <laughs> with that, with that, I'm gonna say thank you very much. Be looking out for the nomination videos, and if you have nominated somebody, be ready. Be ready to help make a good video. 
Uh, we'll see you all next time when I'm debating Dion Smo. <laughs> that was fun. Right. Fun, guys. Thanks. Got the, the hot mics there. So long. Thanks for all the fish. <laughs> <laughs>